Hello PUBG friends and welcome to another PUBG Playbook. ESL Masters Grand Finals week number one is done and E-United found a lot of success by getting pretty high. Let's take a quick look at how they managed to find all that success and our first look at it's going to be on Everest. I don't know about you, but whenever I was a kid, King of the Mountain was no joke. America's players seem to agree, but not by choice. Moving into day one at game two, most teams are playing to the southwest of Everest, hoping the fact that it moves away from the mountain, and with good reason. The mountain itself creates a good divide in the area for multiple teams to be able to climb up and survive here. Also, the western side of Everest has far more trees to block out sight lines of teams that are going to be on the peaks looking down and potentially also provide cover from teams that are going to be next to you. Teams usually try to jockey around each other for potential climbing spots or gatekeeping positions depending on how the circle goes if it stays Everest. Unfortunately for all of these teams, the circle shrinks are not going to favor those in the low ground and we are staying due up on Everest. E United realizes they have an opportunity. They dodge most of the combat for an easy climb to the top. They're able to move into a strong defendable position right as the circle pops and shifts to the east, favoring them and leaving Fiumba out cold. As this happens, Tactical 8 and Spicy Fish commence to fight in the low ground tree cover while Fiumba and EU United fight to get control over the peaks. Fiumba realize they're being gate kept out by EU United, so instead opt into a low ground push. Right as Tactical 8 is finishing up and beginning their rotation, it's going to be whenever they are spotted out. They do manage to catch T8 off guard, picking up a couple of kills, but the rest of the match is really just dealing with United's high ground control, which after Tactical 8 falls, allows them to get low ground control as well, and DraftKing finds himself squeezed and falls valiantly on the unforgiving mountainside. United exploited distractions and made a great rotation to take control over this game and use the high ground to the utmost advantage and it's not the only time that they did that in day one. Let's be real, from about circle four and day number one, game number four, it was pretty apparent that E United had a phenomenal spot for this end game. They moved from Picado to a rock set that had a cliff facing down into the circle, with the other teams contending for a few spattered compounds and try desperately avoid the killing fields or E United sight lines. Dodge ended up having one of the better defendable buildings with the Longhouse and did a great job of repelling the invaders as they came in. Sometimes fortune favors the bold as Young Kings decides to roll right through the open onto the foothills at E United's cliff. The hope with this play is now that they're inside the dip defended from the people on the outside, those same people that would be able to take pot shots at them cannot allow E United to look down on them, but risk E United getting shot themselves. The strat works as E United has targets in abundance, and while this part of Miramar is desert, E United is just farming away. Moving into Circle 7, it's finally time for E United to have to leave their high ground. Blood moves to the north and try to creep up back behind Dodge, and while he does get a knock, late game blue damage is no joke, and he goes down to that. Next up is E United leaving that high ground, though, as, uh, Relo gets knocked by Dodge, a Snaker is knocked by Sir Isaac Newton himself, both Dodge and Young Kings are eliminated shortly afterward. Draft King realizes he's in a 2v1 and moves into a far more defensive stance, moving heavily to the east. An easy res comes through and now the two men E United leave the hillside and move out to the foothills themselves, sweeping through and also sweeping Fiumba out for the win. So instead of looking at the plays, because there's going to be a lot of shooting happening from E United's position, let's look at the benefits and why high ground has been so strong for United. High ground gives you the ability to damage those around you from so much further away. Even just shooting them can force a stall or force them to go into a new position. All of these actions provide a buffer zone that anybody that's going to enter into knows the fact that they are going to have to be mitigating high risk, but whenever we're looking at high ground, the zone expands to be so much larger. You can usually even play more risky. One, because you have a ton of info. You get to see everything that's happening around you and your teammates can feed that. So knowing how to peek and where to peek is even safer. Resource management is extremely important, though, as unsurprisingly, you lose the ability to loot those that you kill, meaning what you take is all you've got for the entirety of this game. All of these factors allows you a certain level of control in a game. As we have repeatedly seen through these matches, as the game progresses and you keep that high ground point, the power only increases. Everybody has now moved into that buffer zone. The only downside is since you've been shooting everybody for about 15 to 20 minutes, that means that everybody else wants you dead, like bad bad. So when you leave the safety of your nest, it's got to be pretty careful. It's also pretty cathartic when you finally do go down. That's okay, you can laugh all the way to the leaderboard with the KP you got from the control for 15 to 20 minutes. United may be at the top in week one, but can they hold on to it in week two? Tune in this weekend as we're going to crown the ESL champion. Until then, see you on the battleground, and probably on Destin. Just can't stop playing.
Roger. Hurry up. We need to move. Just make sure I don't take a bullet in the back. Looking good. Keep it steady. I hear footsteps. I got a bad feeling. Enemy spotted. Move! Move! <laughs> You're going up next time. There won't be a next time. Greetings, survivors. Do you find yourself in the heat of battle asking, why don't I look as cool as this guy? Look no further. Introducing The Workshop, a new feature inside of PUBG Battlegrounds. Here's everything you need to know about how to look good whilst basking in the glory of your chicken dinner. First off, you're gonna need materials. These materials are available inside Hunter and Archivist chests. Oh, is it locked? That's because you need a key, silly! If you're inner fashionista just can't wait, Hunter and Archivist chests are available for purchase in the store. However, if you are the patient type, chests and keys will be available for free through various PUBG events. Now that you have your key, let's take a look at what's inside that sweet chest. From the lobby, head to the workshop, click on Regular Crafting, and there you'll find your chest and key in the Open Crate menu. Find your chest and click, you guessed it, Open. Shiny. In there, you'll see there are imprints, vouchers, and credits. Sometimes, the battleground gods may shine favor upon you and grant you an artisan token, which you'll need for special crafting, but we'll talk about that later. Okay, now that you have your materials, let's get crafting. Go to regular crafting menu, pick the imprint you want, and you'll see the number of credits required to craft. Smash that craft button and voila! If the imprint is a costume set, you can craft multiple items at once, or just pick your favorite bits. If you have a voucher, you craft the skin without even needing credits. But what if you have an imprint or a voucher of skin you already own? Don't you worry, you can repurpose or disassemble your vouchers and imprints as materials for other skins including past releases. Regular crafting will be an opportunity to recreate the past survivor past items such as esports items and store items that you regretted not being able to purchase before now for the really fun part special crafting if you're lucky enough to receive an artisan token through a hunter or archivist chest you can use them to craft special skins depending on the number of artisan tokens you have some all new skins are exclusive to special crafting so make sure to save those tokens well there it is the brand new workshop now go out there and get your chicken dinners looking your absolute best and make sure to keep a lookout for special PUBG events to earn free chests and keys see you on the battlegrounds Some say character is forged in the heat of battle. Others say it is only revealed. But I don't need to tell you this. Because you're a survivor. Your choices define you. They make you. They reveal who you are. You know how to take that shot. Risk it all. And drop in fearlessly. Straight into the unknown. Straight into what may seem like a hopeless battle. But you have confidence in your insanely accurate controlled spray and your smooth, effortless melee weapon skills. You are a fighter. And you, you are no mere brute. You're thinking 20 moves ahead. Extra ammo, a fully kitted weapon, plenty of meds, and the 
wits to gather it all while staying ahead of the circle. That's your endgame. Patience is perhaps the most difficult skill to master, but master it you have. Waiting for the perfect moment to spring your trap. That perfect headshot, a C4 ambush, or yes, even a quiet closet with some tempting bait. In freezing snow, in burning heat, you have pushed beyond the limits of endurance. Here, every choice has consequences. Here, every fight can be your last. But I don't need to tell you this, do I? Because you are a survivor. Be the survivor you were born to be. The choice is yours. Flash. Nice flash coming through from Finna as he gets Zelly. Can he get another Finna for two? Finna is on fire. Shrimzy spots one. Can he spot oh. the other? He doesn't. It's going to be the zone that takes him out. Oh, what? it what? works. And when FPS finds one, oh, finds no. two. Kickstart and Flood both fall. There's nowhere left to go. E United eliminated. set at the precipice of the last day for ESL Masters. E United still in first, but it's not over yet. Sonics won't relent in their chase to try to catch him, and we've got five games to figure out who's going to be able to clutch it up and walk away with the crown. My name's Matchroom, I've got Clover and Cam here with me, and we're going to be breaking down a ton of things that you need to know before we get into the first game. But before we get into all that, let's go ahead and kind of break down how we got here and what is all at stake for these players, most notably starting off with how we got to this stage. 
no surprise, it's kind of the tried and true way with America we have Latin America and North America broken apart until we get to the grand finals, which is where we sit right now. We are on our last five out of 30 games whenever we have so much money on the line. $50,000 all considered. $12,500 for first, diminishing all the way down to 500. But let's not forget the oh so important PGC points. This is going to be who figures out how they're going to be setting up and positioning themselves in PCS7. Are they feeling good or are they going to need to make everything they can and get every point that's going to be so pivotal to get themselves into PGC? Oh, there is so, so much to talk about, but we've got to start off with Dodge, Fiumba, and Wildcard. Yeah, and I mean, again, the race for G PGC points, right? These are not the teams right now that are playing for first place, but they're playing for big PGC point earnings. Dodge uh, really putting in the work the first three games yesterday. They found 25 kills, and then things kind of teetered off the rest of the day. And I mean, we've talked about the growth of Finna, the inclusion of Gats, Ethan, and Hikerman really coming into their own, uh, but that team needs to continue finding that work. And another team that's in that similar situation, Fiumba, they really made a massive climb to the top of the leaderboard this weekend, proving that they have what it takes to challenge for that lat TAM spot. Yeah, uh, that, with 22 especially performing as poorly as they do, that seems to be completely wide open by them. Fiuba have been getting around the same number of points every single day. They've been incredibly consistent, but I quickly want to shine a light on Giraffe King. This man in particular has been putting in a lot, a lot of work. Not to say that the rest of his teammates are performing poorly, that's not the case at all, but he's definitely the star of the show right now. And then Wildcard, we thought it was gonna be a Dodge Fiuba race, but then yesterday Wildcard, who were performing dare I say, way, way, way under expectations, came in yesterday with a huge performance. They started off with this win mm -hmm. here. Very, very, very standard approach. They controlled their space, they controlled their area, and then exploded into the end game with a good number of points. And then he just accrued a lot of points leading up into that. And with them in fourth on PGC points, it's good for them to really stabilize. Yeah, there is so much to look at in this. Yeah, sure, Sonic's feeling pretty good, 545 points. E United back behind them with 380, but it starts to get more dangerous the further down we go into this. Several of these teams only separated out by like 10 points. So every single placement position in this is going to matter so much. Our overall leaderboard yesterday had a lot of movement. You guys were talking about how Wildcard managed to climb up into their position. You can see, Yaho, 17 points into Fiumba, then just three into Dodge, and then 13 into Wildcard. These are all so influential, but at the top is where I know we need to focus right now. E United and Sonics, 16 points separating them out, and I mean, it's been a phenomenal climb back up. It almost felt like E United was untouchable there, Clover. Yeah. Yeah, uh, fr frankly, United were looking really, really good. They showed a couple of moments of them dropping, having a couple of bad games, points were, were not there, but then immediately they strike back, they strike huge, and that's the big thing, is that you can always expect really, really big games from them. Sonics, on the other hand, they're more like a consistent, present, ever-present force. They started this event off a little mm -hmm. slow, but they've just been always in the mix, always there. They actually have more wins than United. They're really close overall, these two teams, in placement points. It's just the kills that United have been able to gain for themselves, especially on those rounds that we see them with a high ground position, just farming the rest of the lobby that gives them that 15 or so point lead. And I was going to cue in with that, Cam, the rotations that we see United making to where they're coming in circles three, four, positioning themselves, finding those very strong points are what's yeah. opening up those real huge kill boxes to where they can harass so many different teams around them. Now, I do see some people often say, oh, well, it's look at EU rats and da 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 da. No, this is all strategy, Clover. <laughs> it's all rotations getting to this stage, and it's not always easy. No, and I mean, when we really look at the overall performance of, of EU United as well, I mean, it's placement points as well, uh, their highest average placement point of any other team. They've got the highest survive time, the highest average kills per game. Uh, and it really feels like if they find a situation where they're not going to find a win, they're going to make sure that they're still going to come out of that match a winner in some form. We've seen more double-digit kills from this team than any other team in the lobby. And yes, they've had a couple of what we would consider a bad day, but even in those bad days, they're still maintaining that position up on the leaderboard and you can see a lot of that is is due to Rello and Snakers they've got 44 kills a piece uh, but that's not making it easy with some of the plays that we've been seeing from Tiggleton with Sonics Finna with Dodge and Balefrost for Yahoo who have also been dominating in kills this event 
just remember each one of these kills is a placement or as a point going over to the overall placement points so these guys are stacking up so much i do want to point out rello finna on here igls from their uh, respective positions but also bail frost yahoo has been kind of it's so hard with all these different things that are going on but yahoo has been so strong with bail Frost's performance cam yeah, when Balefrost came into the roster earlier on this year, it unlocked what they've been teasing us with for the past uh, quite a while. I don't remember the exact time frame, but suddenly just it all clicked. They found their fourth piece, fourth puzzle piece, and they exploded. And they actually started this event incredibly strong. It's just things started to slip away. And we can see Balefrost mm -hmm. here on the damage leaders as well. But we're not seeing the expected stars from your hoe. And that's usually Sparking and Shinboy they seem to have gone a little quiet and they're still in third place. They're in a comfortable third place. Like I'm not trying to rag on them too much. However, if they want to try and consistently trade blows with Sonics and United, the two Kings of North America, they're gonna need to pick it up on this final day and at least make it closer than it is now. And yeah. it is conceivable. It's not comfortable for them to do, but yeah. the issue is whenever we look at yeah. those damage charts, E United in these late games are and they're making it in so consistently and they're just putting out so much damage and firepower there and also have been bumping into Sonics in some earlier stages of this games and yeah. not making Sonics out too well Clover. Yeah, and I think too, I mean, a lot of the Miramar rotations and transitions that we've seen from Sonics, especially with the way that some of the circles have really been hanging out to the east, that's taken a lot of those Sonics rotations into United's backyard. And uh, we know that they like that high ground in or around that Minas area. And Sonics will leave P Picado uh, with four or four and a half minutes in and start challenging United early on. But uh, another thing too, I really want to point out with E9, you can see guys, the damage is huge. And one of that is also an attribute to Flood, finally feeling his own in this roster. I remember that was the big change up for e United this year was bringing Flood in, uh, who previously played from Fury in the Oceania region. And we were kind of watching him in the beginning. It didn't feel like the very first event he played. It was great. Started to see uh, better performance from MPCS 6. But now I want to say that I feel like all four pieces of this e United roster are looking like they're gelling really, really great. And that's one of the things that to me makes Sonic scary is because this is a four piece that can gel all the time. It doesn't matter who's been knocked out, who's still up. Uh, that that roster is terrifying, and we're starting to see that echoed now through the United roster. Cam, Sonics with six chicken dinners, not in yeah. first place. That is absolutely astounding. Yeah, it, it really is. But a lot of that comes down to their a lot of their wins have been a little lower on the kill count. That's definitely mm -hmm. part of it. They've had a couple of six kill wins, which. I mean, the way that they were able to get those wins, you know, you can't take that away from them. Rarely have we seen in any of these events in quite a while a team just be absolutely gifted, having to put zero work to get a win. But we're, we're not getting those entire lobby takeover rounds from Sonics like we're so used to. And it might be too much to expect that every single time because they really forced like changed how this game was played when they broke onto the scene with the addition of Tiggleton in the middle of 2020. And but it's really hard to stay at the top. So when other teams were making roster moves, or Ho was making roster moves, even LG were making roster moves, E United made roster moves at the beginning of the year, as Clover said, to bring in Flood, Sonics have stayed the same, and it's working for them. I'm not saying that they need to make a change at all, but they're really starting to have to continue to work harder and harder to stay at the top of the region. I just gotta yeah. say also to all the Sonics fans out there, be careful with what you say because while Flood is very dangerous on the battleground, he can also come after you in chat or on social media. He's got some <laughs> opinions regarding Don't you talking chat, trash Flood. about his team. Don't and he's all. not afraid to say them. I love that. Uh, we're talking a lot about PGC points, the top of the leaderboard, but also it's very important to remember that Latin America has their own access point whenever we're looking at this all together. And there's a very interesting story that we're looking at there with Fiumba and 22 Clover. Yeah, I mean, 22 right now, they're in 16th place. It's not looking great for them on the lobby. They've had a bit of a, a team change, some things kind of not going their way. And it's really disappointing, I think, to see a lot of the potential that some of those players had not quite be met. I mean, 42 kills, uh, not great. When you look at the left-hand side, though, Fiumba, 100 kills, 170 points. I mean, this is the previous KPI roster that unfortunately failed to qualify for ESL uh, earlier this year. They failed to qualify for PCS 6, kind of came back together, finally finding their footing in this first event. And 
in fourth place. And this is why we kind of highlighted Fiuma Dodge and Wildcard earlier. And it's 120 PGC points. And that could be enough to make or break or really challenge what 22 has, yeah. which is 165 going into this event. If 22 stays in either 15th or 16th place, that's 10 points from ESL. And yeah. that now puts the contention for Fiumba to challenge that if they can qualify and place well during the PCS 7 event, which... I mean, remember Dodge. Dodge missed out last year, the final event, and that was enough to wipe them out. And with Luminosity not being present here at ESL, that's giving a lot of teams opportunity, whether they're in the North American region or the LATAM spot, uh, yeah. looking to try and make that final climb for PGC at the end of the year. I do want to update everybody. Yes, I know you wanted to get in the games as fast as possible, but we are having a technical issue with one of the players. We're trying to resolve that. It's the last day. We want to make sure that everybody has the best chance yeah. to get in. And it seems like there's a, just a problem with one person. So we're just wanting to make sure that we can try to get that as resolved the okay. best we can. So pardon us as we're just going to fill you with so much algebra and equations so that way you can know how PGC points factor in, all that other stuff. But if you find that to be scary, I have a fun story for you. Uh, Adam was talking earlier today, and you know how we were talking about their, the two C's of communication they've got, uh, which is yeah. uh, two C's. It's communication and confidence. Well, apparently also, um, a cow can get kind of loud, and it has started startling Adam in his uh, shot calling. So they're getting ready to do something, and he'll just yell at the top of his lungs some information and startle <laughs> Adam for a second to where he has to, like, get back together. But, hey, look, here we go. We've got everything set. We've been talking for a while, but we've got the amazing combination of Godspeed and Porosaurus. We've got Godsaurus. Take it away. <laughs> God, Hello. God Source. God Source. I kind of <laughs> like that, actually. Poro Speed also would work, you know? Nah, God Source. God Source is probably that's the best. The, that's, that's the one. That's that's the play. Well, thank you uh, very much, Matcher. And thank you guys on the desk. And yeah, we are getting ready to head into this final day of games. God Speed. So much riding on the line. First three games on Miramar before we close things out on Erangel. And uh, look, we've been having some pretty wild games or well at least through yesterday we had some pretty wild circles early on yeah we <laughs> the, the, i'm still thinking about that shark fin circle i, I shark fin circle man. well it wasn't even actually the shark, shark fin circle the, the one that really messed me up was the the one on miramar the last circle of the day where it ended on that road it was the sonics versus e united i mm. mean we had some yeah it was wacky circles like that that forced the teams to play in positions that maybe they're not really used to. I mean, like I said, I don't think I've ever seen a circle end on that road. Um, Sharkfin was also really odd just because when was the last time we actually had a circle end so close to the water on the beach, right? But Long overall, time. I mean, a lot of these teams are doing an amazing job of adapting, specifically Sonics, obviously United as well, the two top teams in the lobby. But yeah, it was a, it was a weird day of circles. And today, you know, starting off at least, it seems this is gonna be a, a pretty, pretty normal one, all things considered, Poro. Well, funny thing you mentioned about those two games in particular, the uh, final game of the day and the, the weird Mons in the Wave of Circle and the Shark Sonics won both. Both, <laughs> both Sonics wins, and that yeah. is uh, six total wins for them so far this tournament. The most that they've gotten yeah. uh, this year has been seven in, uh, I believe it was ESL1. Uh, so we'll see if they can break a uh, tie six or break or that five record. games today, yeah. So it's yeah. very possible that they can do that. But obviously we expect, or at least we hope to expect a lot of adjustments from the other teams that, you know, potentially didn't really have the greatest day. Obviously, we know United started yesterday off a little slow, came out towards the end. And and so, yeah, there's a few other teams I'd like to see make some some pretty decent adjustments. At the very least, Spicy Fish is kind of one of those. Obviously, we know kind of some of the woes that they've been dealing with this issue, sure. uh, this this tournament. Icy Flex not even supposed to be here, having to work. They played with three. But overall, I still I still really like what I'm seeing from that team, you know, and I and I oh, and yeah. I wonder what they could do not only today, but even after this event. Yeah, I'm really excited to see. Uh, uh, hopefully, Moody sticks around. Uh, hopefully, yeah, this yeah, is uh, yeah. this is a good. Uh, it, you know, if if Spicy Fish does stick around, or if they find somebody to replace Icy Flex, uh, however it works out, hopefully we get to see these guys get a few more reps in, uh, at, at least in PCS Seven, and see who they yeah. might add in. Uh, hopefully, this was a good audition, or at least uh, yeah, you, you know, for for maybe some of those free agent players that are out there. I know we've got a couple of other uh, very big names from the past that are starting to look at maybe getting back in the game here. Uh, Poking I'll their heads a, out a little bit. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it at that right now. I don't want to put anybody on blast and, and, and make, uh, 
and say, oh yeah, these guys are coming for PCS7 when you know they may may or may not may change their minds. But uh, there, there's been rumblings. There's been rumblings out there that we might see some uh, big names from the past. There's we check in with Kickstart pushing mm -hmm. in. It looks like he spotted out Vox, took a shot, he did. and he's still creeping over. Okay, now he's gonna pull away. Uh, and I think uh, the, the previous stat that we had on the top of the screen was, I think United needs 13 more kills. It was either 13 or 16 more kills in order to just beat the all-time ESL Grand Finals record, which is, on, mm. I think, 167. There it is. It oh, was 13. It is. Um, yeah, EU United, I mean, a lot of that is obviously attributed to the fact that EU United had some massive games, especially that 18-kill win from oh, the yeah. high ground. And they, I mean, they, for all intents and purposes, have been farming this lobby. Um, and it's been... It's been wild to watch, but it's also something that we've expected with the way that they rotate. Obviously, they love to take that high ground position. N n none of this is new, right? And so, yeah, it's it's not surprising to see you united up here. No, not at all. And a lot of that obviously having to do with the, the IGLing, making sure that they take those high ground positions. And then, you know, every now and then getting a little bit of circle luck to where they can kind of stay up there and continue to do that farming for quite some time now. Uh, I know that the meme is that United's getting more circle luck than anybody else in the lobby. Oh my God, they're, they're beyond. It's actually not true. Like the stats don't support that. Like, Sonics yeah. is actually getting a little bit more circle luck in particular when it comes to late game. When it comes to the serious down to brass tacks business time, C5 and on, uh, it's fairly, fairly even from uh, like nobody really getting more or less than anybody else. Uh, but if, if you want to get real like nitpicky about it, Sonic's getting a little bit more in the late game. But I think, uh, but that's I think also, they got six wins. So, yeah, I think that's also attributed to the fact that like sometimes especially if people aren't watching like the map feed, which I don't blame them for, right? They just want to watch one broadcast. Right, right. You don't actually see the rotations that like United and Sonics do to get in. Like, yes, yeah, sometimes they get circle shifts. I mean, every team at some point does, but um, yeah, I mean, the rotations that we're watching uh, on the map, I mean, they're absolutely not getting circle for free. So. No, no, yeah. no, they really are. And, and again, if you do want to keep uh, keep an eye on that map stream, uh, it is exclamation oh, yeah. point squad Highly stream in the chat, and you can watch both at the same time. And yeah, we we uh, if you're if you're getting into PUBG esports or if you've been a fan for a long time, definitely having that map stream up is uh, is a or really even if you're, really. Uh, a Good. casual player and and you just you know you, you don't understand like why these teams are getting in these positions exactly. especially with other great teams around them i mean it's really good to watch the map because we can explain things sure but i mean seeing it also <laughs> helps a lot like how a lot of these teams not even just sonics or united like navigate the field especially when they're in kind of like a, a position that isn't great i mean watching the map stream can 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 learn you some Absolutely, and especially, you know, obviously our job is to keep an eye on of all course. 16 teams in the lobby, whereas if you're, uh, you know, a, a wild card fan and you want to key in on wild card, you can Yeah, see if you every, want to focus on a team, yeah, that's... There you oh. go. Every move they make, you can track. Every move you make. Ooh. I like little it, sultry, man. little sultry singing there. Yeah, when are we going to hit up the karaoke bar? Any Anytime you want, brother. All right. I really hope that what's, Yahoo... What's your karaoke song? Uh, what's your go-to? I don't actually know. I I I, I, so I, I just kind of go with whatever other people pick. You know, I'm, I'm flexible in that in that sense. Okay. I don't. See, I I I, I go right to Fancy by Reba McIntyre. I mean, that's 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 fair. It's a winner or <laughs> anything. Fair. Neil Diamond, you're good. Let us know what your uh, go-to karaoke song is, chat. But uh, oh, Keenan, he's probably just gonna. Uh, maybe he takes these shots. I think he takes these shots now. Yeah, if Rebo's gonna give him that head on uh, angle he's definitely gonna take those but he doesn't get the knock he has a vehicle to get away and i was actually just while we we're looking at yahoo i'm really hoping they can actually kind of string something together because they're not terribly far behind the the top two teams at all and sure. they've been they've been definitely making a case uh to stay in the top three and even contest the top three this entire event and and they have in the past so i am hoping that they can find a, a little more today yesterday wasn't great it wasn't awful you know it was just a little middling for them but overall this event i think yahoo have been wonderful and and the seeing them bing, push bing, towards boom, the or? top has been awesome talking about bing bang boom right i was talking about yahoo you were talking about yahoo yes okay so screen was on bing bang boom yes you were talking about Yeho. i was talking about i Yeho, got yes. you okay i'm with you now i'm with you i'm caught up i got a little confused okay. Okay. but uh but no I, I think you're absolutely correct yahoo uh we saw them have those back-to-back -back 50 plus days uh in week in week mm -hmm. one and uh worth mentioning now sonic's 
uh, just with back-to-back 50-plus point days. Haven't really, haven't ever seen, uh, or at least in 2022, we haven't seen uh, a team uh, go back-to-back in, uh, or I guess back-to-back-to-back. We have not seen that yet. And we also haven't seen two different teams uh, go back to back with 50 plus point days in a single tournament. Usually it's just one team that does it. We saw uh, ST, well, Luminosity, formerly known as SDK, did it. Mm-hmm. Uh, yep. Sonics did it in the ESL1. And then yep. so far in this tournament, we've had Yaho do it and then Sonics follow it up. So uh, interested to see if Sonics can actually pull off another 50 plus point day, which would be absolutely insane. It would be. Uh, as far as teams needing to, to pull I mean really any point at 22 again we've talked about it we're not going to harp on it too long but they've just they've really struggled this event for whatever reason obviously yeah. they have another player coming in at this, another point after this event but um, you know I, I'd hope at least coming into the last day they can just do something to get some momentum going into you know what's coming next after this event because we know that team has the capabilities um, they just haven't been able to show this event. It is what it is. Yeah, brush it off, go next, yeah. really. Um, you know, try to find something that you can kind of hang your hat on in this last day. But uh, if not, just get ready for PCS 7. Yeah. As uh, we see, Nikos did take that knock from way downtown. Looks like Greg Shot should be able to get over here. Nikos, just let him know. Should yeah, be able I'm, to pop I'm, a smoke, yeah. Yeah, I'm safe. I'm safe. This is, this is pretty easy. But, uh, yeah, Sonic's just... Kind of laying the shots down there, hopefully something, hoping something lands, but more just well, being a problem more than anything. Wildcard definitely has like a strong spot in this circle, right? Well, you'd, did, ima- yeah. you'd imagine. I mean, Ooh. it was a strong spot. Now this has actually gone hard shift. We've got, we've been getting a lot of hard shifts. Hey. I've noticed. Um, no, for pretty sure. much just, the last the, all the days we've cast together. It's it's been hard shift after hard shift. This one specifically um, is going to push obviously all those teams to the south, but Leonis. Like is um, it's a claustrophobic finish man we see it every time obviously the verticality in the city causes a lot of issues for certain teams especially if they're on the bottom and they, and they got there late and so I, I imagine we're gonna see teams already start to set up in leonis which, which we see now sg oh no uh, oh haze 10 just dropping off of that bike instantly as soon uh, as bail frost takes the uh, shots hasn't gone down he actually it looks like he, he found finds draft, draft. draft. what's the... okay okay i guess there was something else going on we we saw up in that northeastern side it was a bunch of teams kind of laying right on top of each other the short circuit gaming meanwhile gonna land on the 2-2 of yaho and uh the rest of the gang not really here yaho still kind of split off here and it looks like they they've lost yep sparking a shin boy immediately down oh, it's not the start they wanted i'll tell you yike. that yike that's a big yikes okay well it's uh it's gonna be up to punage and, sh- and uh what was, who was that Shinboy and Spy- punage and bail yeah punage, punage and bail, bail now have to make their way through we united uh they'll move slightly off to the south stay on these high ground cliffs overlooking los leonis has been kind of their mo all tournament mm-hmm. really or at least all on miramar just take that highest high ground you can find and stay there as long as you can and it's worked out pretty nicely for them well, it's also like they, they're not just arbitrarily taking any high ground, right? Like they're very strategic about what points they're taking. Obviously, this one being somewhat on the closer to the northern edge, but they, they have great rotation options. Obviously, from here, they can see basically all of Leonis or at least the, the north side of Leonis and make their decision to Ooh, move based on the that. next circle from that. So, yeah, United, obviously very smart moves. Nothing surprising there. No, no. And uh, you, you, you mentioned uh, this circle, Los Leonis, obviously a big part of it. And I was I'm wondering how many teams would fully commit on C2 to, to sending it inside the city and Sonics. Quite a few. Four deep, <laughs> Quite dead a few. center of the city. So they, they have taken uh, the spot that they want to play. T8 starting to make their way in. Wild, wild cards starting to make their way in. Bing, bang, boom. Meanwhile, still holding that eastern edge. Now, they are very split once again. As you can see, Keenan starting to make his way up the road. Roth all by himself. He's got Fiuma just off to the north. Uh, taking shots at his teammates. Sharp shot and Oldless. Uh, but for the most part, I think everybody everyone's set up settling right now. down. Yeah, yeah. No, nothing crazy. Roth, and even Roth will be fine because he has he, he has the two members above him watching his back. And then Keenan, I'm assuming, just came in a little late on a rotate, and he'll he'll be fine. He'll meet up with them. So, Bing Bang Boom going to be holding that edge against Fumba again. Fumba was a, a big uh, team of topic there at the top of the show. Oh, Very yeah. close to potentially, you know, just taking that number one Latam spot as far as PGC points. And so they definitely want to have another very solid day because they did have one yesterday. Yeah, they're having uh, they're having a heck of a tournament. They're having a good themselves. tournament overall. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a remarkably consistent as well. Uh, mm-hmm. I was looking at, uh, at Miramar versus Erangel uh, performances. Fiumba, 
85 points on one 85 points on the other i mean it doesn't get solid that's solid <laughs> it man it's not get more consistent than that it does not matter what map they are on now it's actually also interesting as far as miramar goes uh oh, nobody wow. really getting prepped here Ooh, okay yeah hard shift down to the south look at troglodytas man if they can get that's everybody back shift, together yeah. that's looking pretty nice for them is uh being, uh, starting to look at these teams that decided not to go into the city and uh you know, you look at Bing Bang Boom, they've got a pretty pretty free path around here to, to yeah, wrap they around can, on the eastern side. They can, they can even just go straight up to the south if they wanted to, and that's kind of, oh, Poon is going to find one of, I think it was just two, yeah, it's Kalnex. So he's going to go down, and the duo still doing damage. They got to be a little careful, though, because Short Circuit Gaming is watching this from above, trying to also rotate it in the city. But, yeah, Trog actually was set up just looking at rotations before that shift, right? Because they were they were on the more southern side of the circle, but now they find themselves center, and that's going to be a nice position for them to try to hold. they got to be careful. 360 degrees, though. Sills isn't going to take shots. Oh, wow. Almost gets the knock. Not quite, though. Just misses that knock, and now just too easy right on the doorstep. He's got to wait for some support from across the street. But as he said, so many teams kind of making their way through this city all right on top of each other. They want to be careful about how uh, reckless they are about crossing open space right now because there's just so many teams looking in that direction. Bale Frost going to hit some shots on the Nefahor. Doesn't get the knock just yet, but it's down to just Bale and Poonage for Yaho. They're just going to see if they can maybe get a few more points off of this as they're having oh, to work their what way a from knock. the north. Nice, side. nice shots from Bale. Once again, the kill leader is still and got look, the hot finger. Look at the way that, that Bale is supporting Poon. This two man is working so well together. I was going to say Poon has to be a little careful and cautious for the grenades, but Bale is there to, to support. And he's doing so much damage from behind to help Poon just kind of poke out and, and, and really start to dismantle SCG. This is all as, as far as a 2v4 goes. I mean, Yahoo is playing this pretty damn perfect. Yeah, they are, and uh, SCG trying to reset here a little bit. They do get the res on to Nefahor, so he's back up. We'll try to drop that heal. Poonage still working around the edge line. We'll find a nice spray onto Extreme. Doesn't get the knock. Richie B has backup here. Oh. Poon needs to be careful. Ooh, Fail. Vox giving him a good backup, and he's actually going to oh, go down no, to Rello it. as Ian knighted. Oh. oh, my God. Okay, Bale. Bale is just doing Arilo. work right now, and there he is. Trying to help. The shots from E United, they they managed to get the knock and the flush on a poonage, and now e United starting to help out Bale Frost here a little bit. That, I mean, that almost was, as I said, they were playing that pretty much flawlessly, and then Poon went. It, the fact that he didn't get that knock, he was so close, oh, no. put him in a position to get shot from across, and I don't think Bale had the angle. I think he was shooting at him from a kind of weird angle, but either way, a hell of a try from Yaho. But again, not really the start they wanted to the first game of the no, last day of Grand not. Finals. No, it was not NT, but uh, one kill picked up, so they at least get a point out of this. They don't leave with a goose egg, as we see the kill feed starting to light up here a little bit. I think this is all on the west side here. Wild card. Oh my God! Into this Tokyo, shifts, Manji bro. Gang Nikos gets the knock on a hell of my bad. While this is going down, the shift did happen. It is going to go hard south once again. Los Leones out. So all those teams that may have decided to commit to the city now have to figure out how to get out. And you can see TA Dodge running into each other right now. Another a number of teams are going to be running into each other as they try to make their way through here. Hikerman yep. taking shots into the backside of TA. It looks like they've got most everybody through, but Zenny left behind there for TAC-8. And a lot of these teams now are going to have to make some sort of desperate play for the north edge because of how busy it is going to be. That hard shift, I mean, that really cut out most of the teams uh, that it's set up decently for either edge play or city play for Los Leotis. But as you said, we're seeing nothing but movement now on the field. Nobody wants to be caught outside of the circle, especially because of how it's laid out. It's mostly high ground. Brutal, brutal hard shifts have been this story of the day here. Keenan will go down to Vox there as he was trying to go for the crate of all things. He'll get flushed out as well. So Bing Bang Boom losing one after taking one off of SCG. Now Sonics have made their way out of the city. They do have a little bit of a snake problem behind them as I believe that's Harold uh, from Just Too Easy. Yeah, uh, rest of Just Too Easy still there. But right now the order of the day is taking care of Synergy as they move up. They've got the yep. better position, I feel like, here. They do. They we'll absolutely do. We'll and and once the... the... Oh, no, Benya! Danny's I... going to find one as well. Instant two knocks from Synergy. Can they get everybody together and try to capitalize off of these two knocks? And Tig has to be careful not to go down here. 
And I was saying their, their position is better because once the circle closes as well, they don't have to worry about their back and they have this little bowl kind of rage to work around. But those two knocks came out so fast from Synergy as Sonics was pushing and pulling up. And that's put them in a situation where they potentially might even lose Mime here. Uh -oh. You see it in the kill feed, SCG just eliminated E United as well. So that's our lobby leader down. If Sonics can reset off of this, they do lose H win, but they still have the opportunity to they get the revive could get online. Mm -hmm. Yep. And they've got the smoke wall laid down. Synergy for their part hasn't been pushing this too aggressively. They're just kind of working the hard cover right now, but they don't really have anybody shooting in their backs or anything just yet. It looks like the Benya keeping an eye on just too easy on the low ground. So Synergy just holding their spot right now, allowing Sonics to maybe get this reset. Maybe meanwhile, Bing Bang Boom trying to make their way in. I, I do wish that with that advantage, they try to take something more off the Sonics. But I mean, I also understand the hesitation. It is kind of hard to push down into, as you can see, the train. It's not really the easiest push at all. It's so. Tough. It's yeah, I get it. I mean, it was a really good start of the fight. Obviously, they took down, they, they got two knocks, they got a flush, and so Synergy's still playing very well from that position. Sonics, though, they are going to have that edge to now control, so watch for that. Ooh, ooh, Once the circle be. closes, they'll be able to start moving up without having to worry about their back. All right. Ooh, they and the circle goes there. right to them. Yep, this is yeah. massive for them. A little bit of luck there for the Sonics. Now they still have a large problem to deal with. It's now just sure, too easy. Sure, sure. Yep. started to push in. So I think the play here for Sonics is to try, to try to get just too easy and synergy to try to focus on each other. But it looks like just too easy is sending their way over towards Sonics. Meanwhile, on the south side, Tac 8 trying to find a way to play around this. So you see 22 Fiumba with the high ground. They've got Zenny up on the high ground as well. I believe that Zenny. Uh, Mom is going for a play, tater. by the way on Synergy. He's flanking right now. Lots of... And he got the knock. On. There you yep. go. And, uh, okay, Tac 8. Looks yep, like this... they're gonna be able to find each other. Here we go. Mime gonna find one, gonna find two. So Mime's stepping it up here. This... Immediate two knocks. Silzen tries to return a grenade. Not gonna find the mark here. Is Benya, you can see him off in the distance with the mini. He's gonna find Second the knock. knock Benya though. He's gonna bleed out quick. right now. As sure, Mime... There. We'll have to get revived here. They have to put things on pause. Tickleton's job just to make sure the push doesn't come through. Benya and Silzen, they're going to keep sending it. Look at that. Shrimsy actually going to pick Mime up and pull back. Smart play there from Sonics as Tickleton still holding the line. The knock comes through, and Palak's actually going to steal it away. So Synergy now down to just Benya, and he's just going to play it close right now. Looks like Sonic should be able to reset. And it was such a... Oh! Oh! Tig! My goodness, what a spray. He's going to find Benny. That's going to be it for SG. And it started with Mime. It was it was Mime wrapping on that low hill. I said that position was good because Sonics could utilize it in multiple ways, not only just holding their, their bowl. He went underneath while they were shooting, while Shrimzy and Tig were sh just taking shots, like random shots with the mini. And then he came up, got a grenade kill, got a second knock. I mean, that was that was beautifully played from the Sonics. Troglodytus and Wildcard. Wildcard with a huge day yesterday. Yep, Wildcard, and yep. We'll see if they can... Try to repeat that performance here right now. Trading back and forth with Troglodytus, Necro and Rusty Zera, the last two remaining. This has already been finished off and now Dodge coming in. Why kick a Mukau? We'll spot him out. Actually, I think it might be a uh, Hikerman going down. Ethan, Ethan is uh, somehow able to get up there. Well, Wildcard does go down in the end. I mean, you can see just so many teams on this south side, third, fourth, fifth partying these fights. Rusty Zera now having to pull around as he's getting shot in the back from 22. Who got the arm? Someone got the arm off Sonics. I think it might have been Mime. But they're still surviving on this edge. Shrimzy getting knocked. That is fortunately his first knock. As we know, Mime has been knocked twice, so a third may be detrimental. But that's going to be one member down of Just Too Easy, and they're trying to fight back. But Tig getting a little bit of resistance there. And Mime has the time to work with. He's going to find the spray. It's going nice to be an easy spray. knock for him. Takes down Harold. Hasn't gone for the res just yet on the shrimps. As he said, his first he knock, time. he's not yep. bleeding out. He's got time to deal with this. Harita, the last one up for just too easy. And you can see Mime and Chiggleton starting to push out, trying to see if they can clear him out before trying to go for this res. And it looks like they've noticed that Harita is just hiding. And so that's going to give them a little bit of time here to pick up shrimps and get him back up. Six yep. kills now for Sonics yep. as they are setting up nicely for this late game. Only... Two other teams on the north side. It's Harita and then simply, uh, simply Matt Spicy Fish down to three that could be working over from that eastern edge. Meanwhile, the south side still a little bit hectic here as Fiumba has gone into the caves. The 
It's been a while since we've seen teams here, man. <laughs> we don't get too many circles down in the caves, but yes, this is um, this is a precarious situation to be in just because if you end up getting trapped there and circle shifts off you, there's no way out, Poro. I mean, you're kind of just stuck down there. Granted, this is the, just the tip of the cave, but the possibility Shh. is still definitely there if teams, are, especially, are trying to play for that last circle, right? Like the phase nine close, uh, try to heal off. You know, I, I'm not sure. Actually, I don't know. We might get that, honestly. One of these teams might want to send it, especially if they're fractured, they lose a couple. They might want to just send it into caves and try to just heal off. Oh, it's oh, the bomb, man. I'm going to land that arm shot on a Simply Matthias. He goes down. Should maybe be resable here. Keep in mind, Harita's still up there, and he's actually starting to creep over towards those spicy fish. Meanwhile, on the south side, Young Kings has wrapped around on the lower eastern edge, and they're going to run into Tack 8. Remember, Fiumba just kind of playing inside those caves for the time being. They're not being too aggressive. Young Kings, though, being very aggressive as they want to clean up whatever's left down here. It doesn't look like they've spotted out that one player for Tack 8. It's going to be Zenny that gets the knock there. There's a number of fights going on here. There you go. Young Kings will clean up T8 in the end. Nice. And Nicely they done. should be able to get both of those revives, assuming that Fiumba still stays in those caves, still playing it quiet. I I, I would like to see uh, 22 hunt for a little more kills. You know, again, a little more aggressive. I don't... Like, sure, going, getting towards the end circle would be great for them. It's, it's been a challenge from this event, but, I mean, they're, they're so far down on the leaderboard. I'd, I'd like to see them just kind of take some risks, you know, take some fights that maybe they otherwise wouldn't. Just, just try something new which I think they're actually doing right now. I think they're pushing up to the hill on Trog. This is great. This is absolutely great. Starting to switch things up a bit here. Yeah. Haven will get spotted out by Necro. He was the trailing man. So Dean Zara and Vinny will have to push in heavy as they pull up. They'll spot out Necro. Nice. Good spray from Dean Zara will get him down. That'll open things up. I think it's down to just Rusty Zara for Trogladidas. And that's two solos down there, Rusty Zara and Ethan. Meanwhile, Young Kings did manage to get everybody back up. And they are four strong once again. Sonic's meanwhile starting to creep over yep. on this eastern edge. They want to clean, clean it up. up whatever is left up. As uh, yep, there's Harita. Can they spot him out? Yeah, he's gonna see him. Oh no! Harita gets him, but there but you go. Get... Immediately trades back from Shrimzy. Third they knock, gotta third get him knock. up though. Yeah, he's bleeding out real quick. Shrimzy <laughs> spotting up over the top just to make sure they're not getting pushed. But simply Matt, he's gonna send the grenade, and that might be okay. Hey. Yeah, good. They pick him up. Yeah, move him on. I was going to say, it's going to be real worrisome if they don't grab him and get him out of there, and they absolutely do. And Matt almost getting a knock there, or a flush, I, I should say, as Moody and now Matt are starting to make their way up this hill. They realize if they can clear this edge, it's going to be it's going to be massive for them for the rest of this game. Circle cuts off to the north, which is good news for Sonics. Bad news for Fiumba as they're going to have to leave their cave. And Young King's actually shooting at Spicy Fish, so they're helping out the Sonics right now. Young Kings have a little bit of an angle down here. Looks like mm -hmm. a few of those shots might be sent over towards Sonic's way as well as Young Kings did clear yep, out yep, that yep. cap. So it's down to just Moody and Simply Matt. You see Moody has a little bit of hard cover to work with here, and he's going to land those shots, make Psycho have to reposition just a little bit as uh, Young Kings still four strong. They've looked really, really good this game. Young Kings yeah, being they have. extremely aggressive as Absolutely. Mime's still making that arm do work. Oh, they, they've been recovering well off of all their fights as well, the, uh, at the very least this game. So I absolutely agree. Young Kings showing, you know, showing some teeth this game. I'd like to see it. Absolutely. Have room left to climb here for those yep. Young Kings as uh, they start to look a little bit over there. There's Vinny. Oh, Vinny. What oh to no, Vinny. Vinny. I'm assuming oh, he, got he might have gotten knocked. Yeah. yeah, he had to have gotten knocked. That had to be it. Spicy Fish do go down. To Shrimzy and Young Kings. Nice spray from him. Vinny, the last one up, he's going to get spotted out by Ethan. Wait. As Ethan and Dodge still in this, somehow, four kills for Dodge. And Wait, Ethan Vinny, Vinny was the last one up, so he didn't get knocked with a grenade in his hand. I don't know what happened then. We'll, mm. we'll have to check the black box yep. footage on that one. I'm not sure uh, what happened there. A little bit of a miscue, maybe, as we see Rusty Zara trying to survive a little bit. Fiuma going to spot him out. Emmy will be the one that does it to him. Now, that's first kill for Fiumba as they try to pull in from this south side. They've got RDS 149, the only player from Young Kings, keeping eyes on Fiumba. The rest of the gang has wrapped up to the north to try to take this fight towards Sonics. And Ethan, the lone survivor from Dodge Poro, is still just trucking along. He finds himself at the very south edge of the circle, but he's in. And he might even have a decent spot to play. Yeah, I don't think RDS even saw him. So Ethan could potentially get himself a cheeky kill or two, or maybe even a, a decent position here uh, if he can just sneak behind the last teams. 
Oh, an going. Emmy oh, eight wow. ever made. What a grenade right on top of him. Mayim, can he find up another follow-up? The Molotov will go just a little bit far here as Emmy will have a chance to heal in Fiumba. They're kind of it's kind of stuck a little bit low ground here between uh, between Mime and Young Kings, just kind of keeping eyes on them. They got them pinched out outside of the zone for the time being. Tig will have to pull back down after getting a nice shot there as Mime slowly trying to hold here. Oh, looks like Fiumba may have spotted him. That might be a good grenade. The first one gonna fall a little bit short. Second one will too. It's Emmy. Ooh. Takes one to the chest. But I still think. got 10 shots yeah. yet. <laughs> But the, the, the worrying thing here for Sonics is the fact that they're actually getting pushed by, by Young Kings at Fume at the same time, essentially, right? And this could obviously pose some issues, but so far, I mean, Sonics have been doing a great job of holding them back. Obviously, that Om is a massive deterrent. Oof. And Emmy going very low. And yeah, they're, they're going to be able to, to stifle this push for now, but eventually, I mean, both those teams will be coming up that hill. And so Sonics are either going to have to choose one of those teams to try to focus on or, or just trying to, you know, barrel down the hatches and, and do their best to defend both pushes at the same time. Yeah, yeah, Young Kings, I mean, for their part, they're just kind of working these ridges. They're waiting for Sonics to overpeak or, or make a mistake sure. here and yep. nothing really happening, but they're also not overstepping their position right now. As RDS gonna get the push from Fiumba at the worst possible time, takes shots from Tiggleton. Yeah, he's super low. That's Emmy what Sonics wants. We'll find them you, with you the spray. It. And Ikus will try to give a little, oh, through the smoke, gets Emmy really low, but can't get the knock here as Mime now starts to creep out a little bit forward, playing a little bit more oh. aggro. You see that orange dot of Ethan. Don't even worry about that. He is He's in underneath, yeah. He's underneath, he is not even a part of this fight. So Sonic's now starting to wrap around on this south side. Mime will finally get spotted out by Psycho. Fourth knock, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they're is, getting uh, him up. <laughs> he's bleeding out, buddy. I don't think he's, they're getting to him in time. And yep, there he goes. Down to just Tiggleton and Shrimsy, which is dangerous enough in its own right there as Young Kings is going to find another one. Emmy will go down and Fiumba down to one as Young Kings now up to 10 kills. Still have three Frankie's alive here. So well. Honestly, they, they've been playing this game, this hill so well, their aggression, know, knowing when to pull up on a team and show aggression, when to pull back and be a little more reserved. I mean, this is this has been a fantastic showing for them this game. They have looked awesome. They have just been in complete control yeah. of what mm -hmm. was a pretty crazy uh, mid and late game here. And this is looking really nice for him here. Ribo getting a little bit of an angle. Going to spray down with the mini. Will nice finally shots. go down. Nice shots from Ikus. We'll get him, and now Shrimzy right on the doorstep through the smoke. He hears the feet. He beats, oh, that's steps. you. Just one. That's two. One, two. Can he get third? Oh, Shrimzy. He gets the one. Oh, one. oh Psycho one spots him out. And that is such a clutch play from Psycho. But what a play from Shrimzy. Almost pulls off the impossible as we see Ethan waiting for the slow, imminent approach. Slow of and death. painful. Dodge. Getting a second place finish. I, I said he could potentially find himself some really good positioning on placement points, and he absolutely does. But the story there was absolutely Young Kings. I also want to point out that them choosing when to fight and when to pull off, like on that back of that hill, that's a really awkward position to fight in as well. And they, and they did a, a, an amazing job of navigating that top side. So no, they did a, they did Young a Kings great, was great job. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think they ended up with 13 kills uh, to go along with that win. Huge performance yeah. for Young Kings. Uh, yeah, again, another yet another crazy game uh, to start things mm -hmm. off, Godspeed. And it wasn't even necessarily just a wild circle, but the hard shifts forcing everybody through Los Leones. They funneled yeah. through uh, just all these early and uh, early and early early game and early mid game fights uh, that a lot of these teams usually try to avoid. Uh, they just weren't able to do so this time. So you saw a lot of teams taking uh, taking losses early on and having yeah. to play with uh, with three or two uh, going forward. And now Dodge obviously making the most out of it uh, with getting <laughs> Ethan all the way to second place. Uh, but Young Kings just kind of uh, sitting there. I think they decided to kind of go south early. And, uh, and yeah. that was a, that was huge. Well, well, the one thing that confuses me about Young Kings sometimes and watching this play, right, is they, they tend to not be as proactive, but this game they were incredibly, incredibly proactive. And so I, I just wish that we saw more of that from them because they're, they're actually really good when they're playing like that and, and a little more aggression. So you love to see it from Young Kings. Absolutely. Well, we're going to take a quick break. When we come back. We'll take, throw it over to the analyst desk to talk about game number one. But before we do, wanted to remind you guys to go check out Destin, the new 8x8 map on PUBG. 
It's uh, featuring new utility items, new vehicles, and new weapons. Make sure to hop on with your squad to check out all the new diverse biomes like the Skyscraper Pack, Downtown Ripton, and the Swamp, the Dam, the Concert Venue. So many different places that you can hang out and play the chicken. How can you not drop on the chicken? You got to drop on the chicken. You got to drop on the chicken. <laughs> also, you can pay, make sure you pick up that O12 and see if you can try to figure out how to recoil, uh, control the recoil on that sucker because it is, I can't do it. I, I still haven't been able to figure it out. But uh, that's going to do it for us. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we'll bring, out the, uh, bring back the analyst desk. points now separate out first place and my lord donj ethan playing healer while we also have <laughs> mime that's out here playing tank i don't even know how many times he got knocked for sonics there but that was a impressive amount of bullets he managed to take for his team yeah 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 oh yeah. sorry no that was all to me uh, you know what it, i i'm an fps nerd so you're just speaking gibberish to me right now because i I don't play anything but FPSs, Matchroom. The only but, class I know is a class I skipped to go play the new FPS, the hot FPS on the market. PUBG, PUBG, there it is. But that yay. doesn't work because I'm like, I'm, that doesn't work <laughs> in my age bracket. Anyway, you no, got no, We'll no. work on that. We'll work on that. I, I'm disappointed. We don't have anybody else that's playing MMOs on here. All right, fine. We're just going to go ahead, set you guys up. There's a lot to talk about in that. Circles were cool, so let's take a look at the highlights. 
Yeah, listen, I just wanted to talk about this. The very beginning, Sonic's posted up, and this detachment of Synergy Esports was huge. Mime got up all in the... Okay, so here's how... I'll describe it better. Here is how I describe it to them in the green room. If Sonic's need to break into a piece of territory, but there's just, like, no knock really coming their way, by the time they can say, hey, Mime, get up all in their business, Mime is already all up in their business. He found the knock with the grenade. He found, a, like, that opening on Synergy that they needed because that was a pretty big wall. But over here on the south side, Dodge, Wildcard, Trogadita's in the mix. Fumba are there off onto the side, but this is really a really big fight as far as... PGC points that we talked about at the very beginning of the day, but while Wildcard went out early, they did go out with a bunch of kills, so don't forget about that. I love this. I we, we had to feature this because the tunnel was such a huge play. Uh, and obviously, too, uh, at the very end, this play with Shrimzy. I mean, we were actually wondering if he could get that last kill onto Psycho. Wouldn't have been enough uh, to take that away from Wildcard and then obviously out heal Ethan in the tunnel. I mean, Fiumba only getting two kill points. They did pick up a couple of uh, placement points for it. You know, points are points right now, and that's what they need to focus on getting. Young Kings, 23 points is going to be pretty interesting. All considered, Dodge, Wildcard, Fumba still in the thick of it. There cannot be any separation out between them. But Sonics, oh, Sonics making it interesting while E United makes an explosive entrance into an early circle that does not go too well for them. It means the fact that hey. we're back to a barn burner where this is going to be neck and neck the whole way through, Gam. Listen, listen, not only is there the history of United making up lost points through much bigger games afterwards. When you look at this particular game in question, look at the way that the first three, two to three phases went. This is not a game that they had any right getting like really any points at all. This is one that really just comes down to bad luck. And I have more than enough faith that they're going to make up those points. And this is like, don't so don't worry. This is not them sort of falling off the top at the very end of the race. Yeah, I mean, we talk about a lot. These rotations that they make around circle three and four, whenever there yeah. is a position, they know exactly where to go. Sometimes there's already people in those positions, and whenever there's like, I don't know, three or four teams along the path, it gets very, very complicated. Yeah. Can't always yeah. make that perfect rotation at that stage. And if anything, it just opens up the doors. Whenever we see this, Mime going to be miming out as hard as possible, but Shrimzy also trying to clutch it up at the end there. Well, we've got ourselves a chance to move into the next game, and we just want to get this bus keep on going. So we've got Poro, we've got Godspeed. Let's go ahead and start setting up everything for this next game. Toss it over to them. Oh, hey, that's not often we get to see our faces before a game. Usually we go into the uh, go into the map and seeing the plane already, but I guess they're taking a little bit longer here. But uh, yeah, guys, we didn't get a chance really to talk about. Uh, I mean, obviously, we're talking about Sonic's during the game, uh, but uh, uh, that was a really, really tough spot that they fought their way out of, man. I mean, they we, we, we brought it up. They sent it right into the middle of Los Leones in Circle 2. And then from that point on, it was just a struggle. Yeah, but I mean, they they were rolling with the punches, right? They were able to get to do what they could to survive. Obviously, the amazing play there from from Mime keeping them alive, and then Shrimzy almost getting that one v three. Oh, it was so close. It was close, man. It was close. I mean, hey, that that bodes well though for uh, the performance for the rest of the day. It looks like they're feeling pretty on right now. And yeah, uh, again, definitely. like we like we said, I mean, Sonic's pretty consistently have big games uh at the end of tournaments right uh, you go back to pcs6 they got 60 points on the final day uh so that was a that was a big big banger uh, to close things out now uh, we'll see if they can do the same thing here today but through one game at least looking pretty good it's definitely a good start for them and obviously united going out earlier was a big boon boon for them to be like all oh, right, right oh, you know, here's, here's yeah. another chance and and to Cameron's point, I agree. Like, I'm not really worried about United. It was a no. kind of rough circle shift. I mean, those those shifts were not by any means uh, normal. Those were all hard shifts, and they were all hard shifts to the south, too, which caused a lot of teams, not just the United, to, to have, like, really scuffed rotations or have to rotate through multiple teams, as Cammy was talking about. So, yeah, it, it happens. And that what else might happen is... Oh, oh Fuba, my Emmy, can he, oh, he... Oh, my goodness. He hit, like, three shots in a row right there. Oh, put the 2x on him. Oh, Cal. Yeah, Cal hitting a little bit more on him there. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Gonna have to pull back. Fortunately, he's got some, some first aids to work with there. I don't think Cal's... Yeah, he's, he's across the street in power grid. He's not really no, he's interested not pushing in that. pushing anything. Plus, he's got an M16. Would you ever push anything? 
with an M16? If it was 2017, even... 2018, I, hell yeah, it would. <laughs> <laughs> that gun was disgusting. It was good. But today's M16, uh, it's, it's not bad. Burst is still decent, but yeah, I, I definitely wouldn't. It's not the gun of choice. I mean, it's not the laser that it used to be, is it? 8X M16, there was no better gun. Uh, I'm telling you that right now. It's truly the pinnacle of PUBG. Yep. <laughs> How is it? <laughs> we'll never get as good. <laughs> we didn't need DMRs, man. We had that 8X M16. No, we're in DMR. It was just the SKS at that point, was, right? Well, if I, I mean, the right? M16 was better. You know? no, I, mean, I know. I'm just saying, as far as like raw DMRs, there was def there was no mini, there was no, no like no, no. There EBR, was, there, there was, was none SPS. of that stuff. Yeah. No, the, was, I think it was, it was just the SKS, yeah. Yeah, it was, the, it was more bolty back then. The, the car 98, the DMRs, yeah, yeah. Oh, I missed. I, know, I missed the, the bolt meta a little bit. I mean, we still have some players that still like to bolt here. Obviously, Sharp is one of those players. We've seen Poon uh, uh -oh. bolt a uh, second Dean's era now in the midst of El Capitan. He sure is, and I'm kind of looking around, and I don't. See, yeah, the rest of Fiumba off south, uh, so it doesn't look like they're too terribly interested in trying to push up north to save him. Uh, oh, this is, I think this is just, uh, oh this is, no, Haven! Oh, they're actually stopping here. No, oh, that why? Feels so bad. Oh, but they're gonna get one half of it at least. And yep, Capitan, uh, he's gonna uh, go down eventually. But that's so lame for both teams, though. You know, like, it's like the time. It was just so unlucky that they would stop and then choose to loot that house because i don't think I, I doubt they knew that he was there right no they have no it's idea. just the most unfortunate of of like timings and just luck that's <laughs> just been haven's tournament man uh, i sucks. mean you look at you look at how amazing that kid was at pnc oh of and course he's an amazing player he's so good dude he's so good and then it's like I yeah but don't i don't know. it's <sighs> I don't blame his performance necessarily completely on him though, right? It's just that no, no, when, no. when your entire team is just struggling to find points and like even just 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 have a decent day, obviously like no matter how good of a player you are, you're still gonna struggle, right? Like yeah. even if you put Tig in that environment, like uh, he's not gonna. Uh... Well, my point is, is like even if Tig I, I, is in okay, that I environment, you know you, what I mean? I like you. he's. Yeah, 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 yeah. The team is still going to struggle regardless. It doesn't matter if it's <laughs> yeah. Haven, Tig, or whoever. Right? No, I, I, I know what you're saying, but yeah, no, it's uh, it's tilt, man. That's that's all it is. It's it's tilt, and I think at this point of the tournament, you're on the final day. It's it's just been uh, an entire tournament to forget. I mean, you haven't even had one day yeah. where you've gotten over 20 points. Like there is nothing to hang your hat on. I, I think you just kind of. You, you put your head down and just go next. Honestly, yeah. just try to forget everything about this thing. Yeah. Don't forget how it feels, but forget, forget well, yeah, everything So you never else. go there again. I'm also going to retract my statement. I think Tig could actually help that team a lot. So yeah, gonna, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go like, ahead and agree a, with you a, on that. That was a terrible <laughs> point. I'm sorry for even trying to make it. <laughs> look, I, I was, I was, look, I, I'm here for you. I'll, no, no, I'll, you, you call you me out, bro. That was definitely but, uh, not the point to make. I'll, I'll, I'm not going to die on that hill. I'll admit I was wrong. Bad point, bad point. <laughs> Hey, you know what? Sometimes you make bad points and you just move hey, on. Yeah, you move you know, on, bro. That's all good. Um, speaking of which, Hastan, he's going to go down to Tokyo Manji Gang. As, uh, uh, just, yeah, not another good start, but looking at Dodge now. Dodge, again, they've they've had some pretty pretty damn good days in this event overall, and they still find themselves in the top sure 577 have. points, tied with Fuba, who themselves obviously been talking about having a good tournament. And so Dodge has four good games here. They have four games to, to really make an impact and potentially even push towards fourth, maybe even third, if, if Yahoo continue to, to kind of not have these these great days. How about Finna coming into today tied for fifth? I mean, dude, I'm uh, really... Total kills. Really, kills. really pleasantly. Um, it's been a, a joy to watch him, again, level up over the last year, just in general, right? So I've known Finna for a long great. time. He's been playing this game for a long time, and, and to see him really start to have these standout performances, I think is great. It's been awesome to watch. Meanwhile, Tokyo Manji Gang, well, they're just going to clean their plates here as they got one knock. They get another one on the Dean Zera. Now it's down to just Vinny. He's down to about half HP. We'll see if Vinny can maybe uh, do something here. Tokyo Manji Gang just going to send the utility in, see if that can get it done. But unfortunately, it's dropping a little oh, bit short. That oh, should I think do it, did. though. That's it. Yep. Good night, sweet prince. Good night, indeed. As TM will pick up, uh, what is that, two? Yep, oh, three. Two. There you go. All three oh, okay. of uh, of twenty two that and were remaining. 
And TMG, I mean, we, we definitely talked about him a lot after I believe it was like the first day of this week. Um, yesterday wasn't bad for them either. And they're slowly starting to climb 128 points, definitely doing a hell of a lot better than they did in the first week. And, and I still I still think this team has so much room to grow, right? Which is really great for them going into the next event, which is PCS7. <laughs> Shrimzy and Hooli. I can't believe Shrimzy finally has somebody, some competition for the windows broken. Also appreciate the <laughs> uncontested big for a long there. time. <laughs> yeah, he was he was the uncontested champ for uh, quite some time, and now Hooligan's coming in there. So why kick a mook out? Going to spot out mime. Only had one of those mini shots, but uh, I don't think I've ever seen like a cow else. this high up. I, I know this cow's going to get altitude sickness uh, shortly. He's not careful. I think I don't know who was shooting back at him, but somebody was taking shots at him from. Might have been Keenan actually. Bing bang boom. Uh, and now we see. Bing, bang, boom. They've got two inside bricks. They've got two inside, uh, actually, just across the street. And uh, Young King's kind of taking the hill, overlooking all of this as we wait and see. Uh, everybody's made their way into this I was circle say, remarkably yeah, quickly. Not only that, but every every team has basically found a position that they probably wanted to play out of anyways, right? Like, you, you see Sonic's in the center. Wildcard, obviously, with that very nice split up at the top. Even E United has the kind of the east side of this this uh, plateau and so yeah all every team is 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 comfortable i mean really comfortable in this circle it just depends on whether or not this is going to hard shift or just center up and and really just be a waiting game because if this does center up most teams are still going to be in there's not going to be too much movement and basically teams are just going to be waiting for third phase yeah i'm kind of kind of looking towards the future i'm looking at e united uh yeah you know they they tend to like to move west especially well if the circle does cut west they're uh, Dodge has stuck around and hung out in that power play and wildcard also uh, up there as well. So it's not as, uh, as not of a free as a free a path as E United may be used to seeing. And uh, they also have to worry a little bit about Yaho who's on their backside here as we see Spicy Fish kind of squaring off with Short Circuit Gaming. This is on the very, very southern side here of this circle Just, of Chuma yeah. Sarah. This is the top of Chuma basically with these two two teams are clashing and i'm i'm I last time we saw moody here he uh he had like 1200 1500 damage so. yeah that's true a lot of damage and i'm not sure if scg was rotating past it and see if the who actually dropped the chumo proper but Ooh. it's uh it's a messy fight already between those two teams luckily it is in the circle though so they can somewhat take their time oh goodness oh i see though where did he get that knock from oh he's he's flanked from behind Somehow Icy still behind, and that's again that's, that's kind of why we uh, we were wondering who who caught who here is uh, they're they're still pretty split. Okay, hard shift down to the south as the hard shifts continue, and uh, again Troglodytus dead center. We'll see what they do with it this time. Uh, and Sonic's actually with a pretty nice position too. We'll have to see where they decide yep. to play it. Meanwhile, this fight's still playing itself out. Uh, looks like they haven't got the flush onto Neff just yet, but Icy Flex starting to creep over here and provide some more long range support for his boys. And that was, I mean, that was a big reposition, right? He completely caught, I think it was Neferhor by surprise and turned this fight around really for Spicy Fish because that that open angle that they were, that they had their back to was really bad. I mean, if Neferhor was allowed to, to do any more shooting, he probably would have gotten at least a knock if not two. Oh, you saw Vox start to creep over in that direction as well, Yaho make their way out of San Martin. They're gonna be wrapping low on this eastern side here as we check back in with Spice Fit. Pat Caps find one, oh. gets two! What a transfer from Pat Caps. 39 HP left, and now all of a sudden, uh, Short Circuit Gaming down to just Vox, but he is far away. He went for that flank onto Icy Flex, and Spicy Fish just read that so nicely. What a yep. spray this, from Pat Caps. That, that's, that's... That's a Pat Cats I haven't seen in a minute, but it's it's nice to see him back. <laughs> that, was, that was really disgusting. It was like shades of 2019 Pat Cats. Yeah, those old Vac Caps. Yep. Back in the day. It's Icy Flex. I think he knows. He's got company Vox creeping around these crates, seeing if he can maybe catch Icy slipping. But Icy very much aware, and he's on the clock. As looks like Vox didn't see what he wanted to see, so he's going to pull back away. As they continue to do this dance, the rest of Icy Flex's team has now joined him. And now it is going to be a four person hunt for Vox. Looks like one person already spotted him out. This, this positioning that Icy Flex has is actually, it's, it's very smart. 
It's not it's not a normal thing for you to look up at that angle, right? <laughs> when you're clearing those corners. Sure isn't. As you get you get vertical and take your chances as Pat Cap's gonna spray through the smoke. We saw simply Matthias trade a little bit of damage with Vox. Oh, Vox there. Vox is, on is fire. in Yeah, he's in trouble now. And there you go. Icy and Flex. What will a do turnaround it to him. on that fight. Honestly, Icy Flex was a massive part of that, but obviously that double spray down by Pat, I mean I really like this roster. I really like Spicy Fish. Oh, yeah. You take those clean 4v4 wins all day yeah. long. And, uh, and now, actually, you see your host starting to creep down there. I'm not sure if there's no way they go up to the top of Chuma, at uh, the high ground of Chuma. Uh, but, yeah, OK. Yeah, they're just kind of working around that north side. Meanwhile, uh, looking back, looks like Troglodyta still holding that 2-2. Sonics, they reposition into a 2-2 along the roadside. Bing Bang Boom have one of their own, as the, it looks like they managed to Catch a knock on to Young Kings, and one FPS is bleeding out. Tack 8, they're going to come in through the southwest side. Looks like they lost Palix in the process. Uh, Palix was missing yesterday. They had to play with Psycho, but he is back with the boys once again. And that is good news for Tack 8 because Palix was doing work. Palix was indeed doing work, and at the very least for now, T8 is going to find themselves in an okay position down at that uh, southern uh, La Driela. La Driela. Church. <laughs> you got it. La Drahia. La Drahia. Oh, another hard shift south, man. Bro, this... what is... Is it just us? I, I swear I we've know. been getting nothing but hard shifts. It's been brutal, but uh, we'll see how these guys react. As uh, Ian Ided had the 2-2, two -two. looks like Rello and Flood going to be in the center, so Snakers and Kickstart already on the oh, they're, move. They're consolidating out. They're trying to get it there, because if they get four to that spot, that's going to be that's gonna be a really disgusting spot for, for United. And, and they mean, are. They're yeah, going that's... to. That's, uh, I think uh, Rello took that early, knowing the, the strength of that spot mm -hmm. should the circle decide to come down to this spot. And gonna pay off dividends here is now they'll get everybody in there pretty free and clear. Bing, bang, boom, and the kill feed. Looks like they still have eyes on Young Kings. RDS 149 going down. We check in with Sonics as they kept Mime and Shrimsy at the gas station. One half in the yep. gas station. And now they've sent Win and Tig to try to find something else over here on the hills. Doesn't look like they like I what mean, they're seeing just i think they may have been going for yeah. that spot where trog is yeah the thing is as well is like these hills that they're on are actually really good to play oh wait a second bail gonna uh -oh. not gonna find one just quite but either Hopefully. way tack eight is in a lot of trouble oh. and that's gonna be a flush for hooligan it is hooligan getting the flush getting the point for Tack 8, a lot of kills going on in the kill feed right now. We saw Yaho taking a lot of damage as the flashbang's coming through for Sparking. He's gonna go hunting down this last one. Sprays through, doesn't spot out Hooligan on the first peak though. And he is kind of all by himself here. He's got but some Nate support from him. high ground. Nate comes through, right. doesn't find its mark. Hooligan still on the move. Sparking realizes the situation, gonna go back into the hard cover. Meanwhile, you got Spicy Fish on the other side of the highway, or on the other side of the road rather as Shimboy has now come up to provide support. There you go, Hooligan will go down. Tack eight out in 14th place. But he, I mean, that was pretty significant damage though, dealt to oh, Yaho. Pat. Look how far Pat away is away from the rest of the team. He's still up on that high ground south of Chuma. Oh, I didn't, who knocked him? I didn't even see who knocked him. Uh, yeah, I think Pat's uh, dead. Or I see, I, I think I see actually might still be able to go grab him potentially. Yeah, it looks like that's going to be the play here as we check in with Yaho. Uh, we saw him show up in the kill feed. Looks like they they obviously lost Bale Frost, uh, but they were able to get everybody back yeah. reset. And, not uh, great, not, but the position not, they find themselves in is good for them. Yeah, this is a good spot. This is a good spot. We see this spot get a lot of play. Uh, they got dodged just off to their north. Fiumba coming in a little bit late here on the north side. Looks like they're down to three as well as they're going to push into Kota Kid. I think it's the last player up for just too easy. And uh, he might have some company here. Is he up? He's going to find Ribo. Immediately gets the knock, gets a flush as well. And now Shrimzy going to take some long range shots here for Yumba. Down to two. Kota Kid, can he pull off some solo heroics for just too easy to keep himself in this game? I mean, he's going to have to, especially. <laughs> Let's keep the team alive. As he said, last player. And he already got one. Luckily, Shrimzy did do some damage to the other members. I think it was just Emmy. Yeah, but they're going to be able to heal and then oh. adjust for this fight. But Circle did go up north. That shift went north, which means Kota Kid can actually kind of just take his time a little bit with this fight. It is a 1v2 as well. We've we've seen we've seen him win those before. Oh yeah, Ooh. yeah. I mean Fiuma's gotta be real careful about it. Oh look yep. at that. Danny actually gonna find Emmy from long range. So now it's down to a 1v1. And if uh if Kota Kid 
keeping an eye on his kill feed, realizing that he's now in a 1v1. This could be dangerous for DraftKings, but DraftKings, we saw him pull off some crazy stuff yesterday. He was looking really good. Yeah. Well, the desk has been boys. talking about him as well, and he, um, he, I mean, he's been wonderful this tournament. It's been really good. He's always been good, but this tournament oh. is specifically nice try. Uh, DraftKings has been great, but nice job to Kota Kid, cleaning Kota up those Kid. members and keeping the team alive. Kota Kid actually juked that man. How am I bad gonna get spotted out by RDS 149? So now all of a sudden Tokyo Manji gang in a little bit of trouble down to two. Wadis is definitely separated from the rest of the gang. He's got the four man spicy fish just on the other side of this ridge line. He's gonna peek up over the top. He's gonna see two. He's gonna see three. He's gonna oh, see no. a car right in his face as Wadis oh, goes down. No. That was the slowest run over too. <laughs> <laughs> it just, it's like oh, it took so long. Yeah, it was. That's <laughs> exactly what I was thinking, bro. It was the steamroller. <laughs> oh, the man. Steamroll. No! No! Okay, what was what? that actor's yeah. name? Michael some... Oh, I forgot oh. his name. But oh, regardless. Myers, there you go. No, not Mike Myers. The the, the actor that he did oh, it to oh, himself oh, on oh. SNL. Yeah, I'm not hey, look at me, so that sure. guy. Anyways. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, well uh, chat will let us know, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, but Young Kings gets eliminated. Spicy Fish... Doing pretty good so far, playing in from that south side. They're looking Tokyo, really good this game. Yeah, Tokyo Manji Gang down to just one. I think it's just Colton right now. He's right on the doorstep here of Bing Bang Boom, hiding in the smoke cloud. Keenan gets blinded here a little bit, knows that there's one left. Colton gonna hop in the vehicle, try to escape here. Is Keenan gonna go for the flush instead of the knock? There you go. He'll get it. Doesn't matter. Cleans up. Tokyo Manji Gang out in 10th place. And it was looking like a pretty solid game for them, but... Bing Bang Boom, uh, another team that, I mean, man, they, I feel like they were much more towards the top of the leaderboard and now they find themselves in eighth. How Spicy Fish got nine kills already. Let me look actually, how did they do this? Cool. And then now they come up over the ridge line, simply Matt gonna find Old List right off the bat as Bing Bang Boom pulls into Spicy Fish. Simply Matt will go down to Poonage though, yo -ho. Having an angle on this from a long way away. Pack cap six kills already. We'll see if Bing Bang Boom can do anything else. They're gonna actually send two right to the dead center of the circle. It's gonna be Sharp Shot that actually makes it. Keenan. Oh, he gets up. knocked though oh, and he was dead center. Pepper. Yep. They'll find him. He tried to go for something there and- It was the that. right play. It was definitely the right play. He just got caught. It would have paid off too. Spicy Fish now down to Icy Flex as uh, Yaho starting to work around on that south side. They've got that high angle. Icy Flex trying to make it through the smoke. Not gonna matter. Sparking's gonna get him. Six kills now for Yaho as they've managed to turn things on here in game number two. Man, if Sonics could actually hold Trog and United <laughs> and also BBB's single member from <laughs> Getting to this West Edge. They're going to be looking really good. <laughs> they oh, just yeah. clear I mean, every single team on the oh, West side. Oh, there he my. Goes. Good night, sweet Prince Keenan. that right in the face. And uh, there's actually a number of teams. Like, E United is uh, outside of circle right now. They've got to make a way in. Dodge, still four up. They've got to make their way in. Wildcard, the same. It's like all these teams that had these good positions, good setups, good compounds are just like right on the edge of being outside of circle. And now Yahoo going to try to send it through and try to find somewhere to play. But Dodge right there, ready and waiting. Ethan will spray down into Shin Boy. Won't get much damage done. We'll try to follow it up with a frag grenade. Does not look like it'll find the mark though. So Dodge will pull back here once again. Shin Boy waiting for some support. And there, I mean, there's a few positions I can see on the map that could be played, but it's it's not easy to get to those on top of the fact it's not even to hold those, right? Because there's it's just like a shack and one. There's like a little hill that Dodge could potentially play on the other side of that, but they have to worry about getting crested by the Sonics. And it's so, uh, j just because the angles are there. It's, this is, again, this is another really rough circle, Poro. This is a yeah, this really is rough tough. circle to play. Real, real tough. Trogs here. still have to come in from the West. Like this is a mess. Yeah, this is uh, the two big fights going on right now. Yeho and, uh, versus Dodge. They're going to find a couple of knocks right off the bat. Finna gets flushed out. Ethan going down as well. As uh, it looks like Yeho trying to get the res on a poonage right now. Shimboy doing that. Meanwhile, in the picture in picture, you got Troglodytus trying to push into Sonics. Uh, Sonics have that little bit of a dip here. They've managed to get all four back together. And Synergy's kind of taking shots over the top at all of them. 
So uh, trying Synergies, to get in a little yeah. bit of trouble. Synergy has just been harassing everyone for that central compound. Obviously, it's the best spot on the map currently, and they're they're using it. You know, they're not just sitting in there; they are oh. abusing that fact and sparking. Sparking kills all, all of Dodge. Sparking with the huge plays. Coming up big for Yaho here in game number two. Sonics, meanwhile, they'll find Rusty Zera. They're holding off the push from Trogoliditas for right now. They can avoid these shots from Synergy as they have that dip to work with, but they gotta be careful about how they peek up over this. They'd love to be able to clean out what's left of Trog, but they've got their own little spot to work with now inside circle. Wait and see where the next one decides to take us. And it, there you go. It's gonna center up kind of right on that Synergy compound once again as uh, yep. we wait and see uh, it looks like sonic's gonna land a little bit of utility there gets a knock on a necro but again they can't they can't really follow they it can't. up right now because they of cannot synergy. they can't do really anything they're they're and playing this position card, actually yeah the best they can what sonics is waiting for here is the next shift even though it's most likely going to cut them out it's probably going to force wildcard into the compound with synergy in which case that will be when when sonics wants to strike right that's going to be when they're going to want to move uh, potentially even united is going to have to make a play forward the problem now is that they find themselves kind of on an island right they're isolated on the wrong side of the road on the edge of circle with another team that they can't even as you said push out and completely wipe meanwhile shin boy and sparking actually pushing up on the backside of e united this could be big trouble for e united 10 kills for yahoo already oh yahoo they would love to be able to throw a nice grenade into that shack but the problem is they can't risk going for that push because while well, you got wild card off in the distance you got synergy all taking shots at this they've got a little bit of a smoke wall and it looks like united is starting to read this situation and know what's up they don't want to be in here for this inevitable push there you go you can see the frag grenades are already out for yo they're gonna start sending them in through the smoke not gonna find the mark though yeah united will stay alive there adam that's what we were worried about adam will find the angle on a poonage gets the knock gets the flush and now yo has to pull back once again and reset and I think the most fortunate part, as well as just having a lot of smokes, is the door on that shack is on the other side. It's on the side facing Synergy, so that at the very least, United was safe from getting bombarded by nades, breaking the door down, and then just getting the other ones in, and they're going to survive. We saw Sonics did take a knock. They should be able to get that back up, but Troglodytus made the push Trog? over that ridge line. They get yeah. away with it. Here we go. The push coming through. Molotov going to land right on the door. Oh, he's burning. He's not even, oh, he's missing the spray, though. Snakers actually avoiding the fire for right but now. But Mime! Again, is Mime going to come in from his, as well? It's down to just Relo sparking 1v1 through the smoke, through the flames. Kickstart's going to be sitting right on top of a grenade right there. He's going to go down, and Relo goes down to that same grenade. As sparking adds to his kill total. 13. I think Sparking has 13 alone right now. Jeez. Or, or close to, I mean, or he has at least 10. Sparking has a ridiculous amount of kills right now. He's got a bunch of kills for himself and he's got a shack that he can play from at least for the time being. Wildcard still four up, four kills for them. And they've got a lot of real estate to work with. Sonics, meanwhile, they haven't sent it. They haven't needed to. They, no, yet. not yet. And also, I want to. Trog actually had a really nice little reposition there. It was risky, but the fact that they, they needed to get the hell away from Sonics's backside because that was going to oh, be yeah. trouble on the next shift. So that was a that was a really nice proactive little rotation to just get ahead nine of Sonics. Kills. Yeah, nine. Sorry, he, I, he was close though. I thought he had ten. That's ridiculous though. Guy's popping off right now. And I mean, he wiped know, Dodge clean by himself. <laughs> it's sure did. Kind of 700. ridiculous. And he gets to stay in his little compound too. Yeah, Nobody's going to yeah. go over there anytime soon. I don't think. Now, uh, Sonics, I don't know if they have much of a ridge to play on the other side of that, on the yeah, road. Yeah, it, well, it really, it all depends on what Sonics decides to do, right? Yeah. I mean, it's if they go, that's, well, that, wild that card might too. be the best spot don't for Don't forget them. about them, because they, they. this is what Sonics has been waiting for. They knew the, the circle was going to shift off them. It's really just wild card, waiting for wild card to make their move, because now they're not in circle. The problem is, I don't know if wild card have to commit or if they can wrap left. Well, or, I mean, excuse looks, me, to their east. It looks like, I mean, there's, it looks like they're setting up a smoke wall to yep. just push into the backside of this warehouse. So that would be good news for Sonic because it'll leave uh, leave them a little bit more to work with. Synergy uh, still having, I believe they have three inside the warehouse, one inside the long building, and that's going to be Danny. Uh, yep. That's holding off the push as Sonic will hop four deep. And here we go. Where are they going to go? Look just right there to the other side of the road. I mean, this doesn't, I, this is exactly what I thought they were going to do. This is their best play. Oh, no. Sparking. That nade, though. That nade that could grenade. be really. Oh, puts it in one. his pocket. One down as Tickleton goes down, but Sparking gets knocked more. very, very low. 
He's got to stop for that heal. Mime, very low. Shrimsy low as well. I mean, Sparking doing all this damage pretty much by himself here. And meanwhile, the push coming in from Wildcard. They've been able to work around, avoid the throwables from Synergy for the time being. Nikos gets knocked a little bit low there from Danit. Waikikamukau will spot out Benia through the smoke. What a shot get. by Waikikamukau. And now he, he didn't see the fire. He did run over it. He's very low. That's unfortunate. The smoke completely blocking off the mollies. Oh, Silzin will get him down. Gets the knock, gets the flush. Great shot coming in from the long way. Well, oh no, he got nice distracted hold. by the knocked. And Silzin once again on fire here for Synergy. Nikos coming in. He's the last player alive. Comes in from the side. Did they spot him out? Do they know where he is? He hears footsteps. He'll spot Danny. Gets him low, gets him knocked. But he's very, very low here. He goes, trying to go for the high ground. They, oh, they just missed the shots. As he pulls away, he is trying to be a sneaky, sneaky boy. And as he's yeah. just working around. Get oh, he gets another one. Nikos. Oh, no, out of bullets. Oh, oh what an attempt. Bullets. It's what an Silzen. attempt. Silzen will do the last bit of damage. And he will be the last one alive. Silzen. Spark. Sparking is the reason Sonic's already haven't pushed across and won this game. <laughs> Sparking has literally been holding Sonic's in this trench by himself without any nades. He just had that one initial nade he got the knock from, but he has been absolutely harassing the Sonic's. Look at with a, Ladidas, with an amazing man. solo performance. And now Trog is going to be able to push up on this because of Sparking. Synergy getting so fortunate there. Yes. Because, I mean, like you said, they were down to one, but who's going to push? Like nobody no, there's can There's no push. one to push, exactly. Oh, and Sparking is oh. just a menace. Oh my God, he gets two. And now look at the Trog, they, they see that kill feed. They're pushing, and that's it. they're gonna get him, it's done. Sonics go down in fourth place as Sparking still alive. Sparking with 11 kills, a solo performance for the ages. Actually one of the best solo performances I've ever seen. <laughs> what, what a game for Sparking, man. As coming, especially because of the fact of how early he lost teammates. Sparking has been alone for so he gets long. another one! And he's about to wipe three teams now solo. Ooh, Ooh Benya. Benya gets some so 1,400 damage for Sparking. 12 <laughs> Holy kills. Holy hell, dude, that's crazy. I This is a crazy performance. And he finally goes oh, down, kill Dembo, ends down. the streak, but... Damn, Poro. What Whew. an unreal individual performance as Kill Demo. He's just going to go down to the blue. Synergy will get the win in game number two with six kills. And, but what do you even say? I mean, how do you talk about Synergy after Sparking just did uh, that? I mean, you definitely talk about Synergy in the sense that they, they took an early position. Silzin with that massive save against Wildcard, Huge. who also, to their credit, had a really nice little push there. But... I mean, it's really hard to talk about anyone other than Sparking. The fact that he had 12 kills solo, the fact that he was able to basically pin Sonics by himself, even though, again, Sonics were in a, they were in a rough <laughs> position, but that was still a, a crazy solo performance. Then taking another knock on a Trog, I mean... <sighs> it's just nuts. It's just yeah. nuts. I mean, There's give, nothing else to say. Give the man his flowers. He has earned them uh, with that one. What a, what a performance from him. Yeah. Uh, but again, as you said, Synergy... Uh, clutch, clutch stuff from Silzen. I mean, yes. wild card. It for a, a, it looked like. I mean, it was down to a two v one at one point. I think for for wild card there, as uh, and, and Silzen ends up coming in. Right. I, I might be wrong on that. It might, might be a two v. I think it was a one v two in in Synergy's in. favor. Nikos but then was trying it came to pull down to one v one. Yeah. Yeah, he was trying to pull off the impossible, and Nikos was giving him everything they could handle. Uh, a lot of ex extraordinary individual performances in that game, but uh, mm -hmm. none more so than that boy sparking. But we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, the analyst desk will break down everything we saw in game number two. There's never enough smokes. Ten. I'd say five to six smokes is enough. Quatro. Uh, cinco. Ah, não tem limite. Eu acho que o quanto for bem na na bag, joga bala no chão e 
smoke na, na mochila. Leva todas. None. None's enough. I don't need smokes. O círculo que termina é onde eu estiver, na minha casa. A large circle on Erangel, because that's where we'll be. Quando não sirva. O que fecha todos de nós. O um, Everest, Everest, on Erangel. Never use every bullet. When I have no more bullets left in the mag. Way too often, for sure. Quando falta bala. E quando me quedan menos de cinco bala. Uh, Grizz, our coach. I'm the worst player on my team. Ew. Me, for sure. Eh, eh, Harita. <laughs> Probably a sub. Do, do they have a name? Oh, we don't have a sub. <laughs> uh, yes. Very surprised. Kind of leading into the ESL group stage, when we were playing scrims, they looked a lot weaker than they normally did. Um, I had already noticed that, and actually of one of the big teams to not qualify like that was the one i i didn't think would qualify so um i'm honestly not too surprised sí sí obviamente son muy buenos ellos y no sé qué pasó pero encima aquí clasifican 10 equipos no sé
United and Sonics tied up in first place, but a big factor in that is going to be a ho and most notably Sparky, who managed to rack up a ton of points for his team and put on a powerhouse oh, yeah. performance. Before we jump into all of that stuff, though, okay, 250, 250. Remember, we have placement points as the decider in our tiebreakers, not kills. So that's going to be very important if we keep seeing it be this close, Clover. Yeah, and obviously placement points is something that we've been seeing a lot of these teams do. United, Sonics, they've been up in the late game, especially Sonics today, having a decent start. But I mean, Poro, I mean, excuse me, it was Poro and them said, like, I, I can't get what happened with sparking out of my head. Like, I can't think of anything else except for what we just saw. So Absolutely look, wild. we'll just go back and look at a whole bunch of sparking because <laughs> that's what we all want to see, right? Uh, yeah, I know. Okay, okay, before we start, we, we'll look at this play that started with Yahoo, right? We kind of lost Balefrost early. A little bit of concern because Yahoo have been struggling a bit in terms of finding kills today. And that all changed when Sparking said, you know what? Why don't we just kill everybody in the lobby today? Uh, it started out there with that TAC 8 fight, continued on with Dodge. And I'm pretty sure at some point, Sparking probably did damage to at least one person on every team in this lobby. Okay, maybe maybe not that. That's a bit of a stretch because there are other teams on the opposite side. But really, this is the Yahoo that we've come to love. They just fight anything and everything. They will take scalps every which way. And then, yeah, this was the beginning of the Sparking Rampage. He already had a bunch of kills up until that point. But the way that he managed that hill with Dodge trying to overtake him was absolutely insane. Good take on E United. E United did their best to hold, but all they had was a little bit of a shack. And so the approach that Yoho had, swinging in from one side, using utility, that's exactly what you want to do. But it was one final grenade in the smoke what ruined them. And then just this was really when it got up to some level of stupidity that we haven't seen in quite a while, holding off Sonic's one versus no, four amazing. for the entire time. Niku's, he had a little bit of fun of his own. This was quite enjoyable to watch too, I have to say. Yeah, I, 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 okay, we were watching this and Niku's, you know, goes up right on top of here. Pippa swings around the corner and I screamed. Like this is how I, I would have screamed in real life if I was playing this match with PUBG. Uh, but the fact that he kept his cool up till the very end, he, the thing that really hurt in that fight is he just ran out of ammo. Uh, but yeah. Sparking, uh, still, look, knock on h -win, knock on Singleton. Shrimzy goes Good down car. with a little bit of help of the Troglodytus, and we don't even see it here, but he jumps on top of that shack and then gets more knocks onto members of Troglodytus. So uh, 16 kills, 12 of which all came from Sparky. For 21 points. Yo, okay, we were talking two horse race. I don't know, 35 points now separating it out. We still have several games to go. It's possible. I wouldn't say it's highly likely, but Yaho can now potentially contest the top of that. Definitely has some comfort position away from Fiumba, but that does mean that now Dodge, Young Kings, Wild Card, all of that just got more compacted as we're starting to see those lines separate out. But I, I don't even know. Cam, 250 yep. point tie up, Sparking. Yeah. What do we even do? Sparking has more kills and kill points than some teams have total points. Yeah, but honestly, that's what you that's what you expect when you put Sparking on your roster. I said at the beginning of the day that him and the other star players of Yoho aren't really showing up. It was just Bill Frost that felt like was keeping them uh, in third place, but it seems that they've awoke, awoken. And really, just to sort of underline your point, them contesting Sonics and E United, it's not really gonna happen. We only have three games left. However, the good thing about we just saw about what we just saw is that it solidifies Yahoo's uh, third place at this event. It does solidify that, but remember, it was Yahoo that took out E United and Sonics and got 21 points. It could yeah. happen again, right? I, Maybe yeah. whenever we look at this Godspeed Poro. Are you a believer or, or no? I'm a believer, man. I'm a believer. For sure, right? I'm, I'm, a, like, I'm a hoper. How about that? You're a, <laughs> you're just a big old <laughs> hoper, aren't you? Yeah. Any, any hopers you're in a, the chat? You're a you hoper? <laughs> I, uh, oh, no, no I we're, we're no nipping doubt that in the bud real fast. In my little, very little mind, that uh, <laughs> Yaho will not continue to find some points today. Do I think they're going to wipe Sonics and United again in another game? Uh, probably not. I mean, this is Miramar. They do, they do like to, 
to jump up. Okay, I think of that one time actually Sparking climbed up on Minas and shot Flood really early on, and then they just kind of messed with the United the rest of the game. I just want to see that. I just want to see that from Sparking. 35 points is doable, especially when the United's kind of struggling today. 35 points is doable, but I'm not going to uh -oh. count on Sonics and oh, United no. to have continued poor games. That's just my take. That's probably I got nervous with you, Poro. I thought it was going to happen. Sparking got hit once while in the air. I was like, out of all the times I wanted to see it, where it <laughs> happened right after that, I was going to be so sad. And that's probably the player you want to knock out of the air first, right? Don't even give him a chance to play, but... Yeah, just take the raid boss out early, you know, and uh, yeah. <laughs> just kind of move on with the game from there. Well, he's still, he stays alive, and we do get our circle, and we are going back Los Leones very way. Sim yeah, it's basically the same circle we got in the first game. Yep. Uh, oh, actually, it looks like Benya. Oh, oh, Benya! Oh, my goodness! With the A-Kizzle from way downtown. Gonna find Extreme. I don't know if he gets the flush here, but... Uh, I don't think people realize how disgusting that actually was. Like, that... AK spray from that distance, and then he... I think he landed two headshots at the end of that spray. I mean, that was actually disgusting. Like, was really, filthy. truly disgusting. Benya is really nuts, man. We've been talking about him all this event, but, I mean, he's he's really, really nuts. He's he's been a lot of fun to watch for sure, and uh, hopefully we'll see uh, synergy continue their climb here. Uh, it's been they've had so many moments had where so you're like, games. man, they're, they're yeah. like they have really great performances, and you see them uh, do really well in these uh, in these fights, and uh, and they just don't they're not we're, we're just not sometimes, seeing the point pay off. Really. Yeah, I, I think sometimes those fights, as good as they are, they they oh. do happen sometimes a little too early. Kick. Absolutely. Just I'm pissed if I'm extreme. That's annoying. <laughs> I would be I so ridiculous mad. Ridiculous shots from kick, but if I'm extreme, I'm like, really, bro? Like, you actually hit that? Why is everybody in the lobby just trick shotting short circuit it's, gaming right now? I don't know. That's absolutely crazy. But, um, good lord. I don't even remember what point I was Pippa, <laughs> Pippa's about to dome somebody out of there with the micro. Oh, no, dude, watch. leave him alone, bro. Just let him live. <laughs> he's just. Oh, he's actually going to do it, bro. Reel. Oh, Vox, don't loot this. Okay, good. Vox? Vox? Vox, okay. He's, yeah, he's... but back back to my oh, Synergy my Gaming point. They, they do have a lot of impressive fights. You're absolutely right, but I think the issue is sometimes those fights happen too early, and Synergy kind of lose one or two, or, or either, like, they're kind of out of meds or utility by the end of... Uh, not even by end, but, like, the mid to late game, right? And I think that's been the biggest Ooh. issue for Synergy. But as far as the way they've looked in fights, I mean, they've been looking really good, man. I really like, like this new Synergy roster. Oh, yeah, 100%. Just like that, Sna uh, Snakers picks up uh, Colton off of Tokyo Mountain Gangs. They're right there. Two points for United, so tie broken, I guess. Tie broken. Lead <laughs> given up. Socks yeah, is get, washed. <laughs> yeah, it's, all, it's done. Chalk it it's up. Done. It's, it's, <laughs> it's just they're, they're tilted from Sparga, I guess. I don't oh know. my god! No, they're fine. I mean, definitely like, look, not true. I, I, I kind of alluded to it as well in the end of that game, and I'm taking absolutely nothing away from Sparking, but Sonics was in a bowl. They couldn't really like move. They didn't have many smokes or utility, right? And that was a, yeah. that was a rough spot for them to get out of. That being said, Sparking still was nuts. The fact that he got two knocks was insane yeah, yeah that, was, like, that was a uh, rough position perfect, for sonic perfect storm type situation yeah. uh and yeah it was a, it was a, it was definitely a tough spot for sonics but you know what at the end of the day they still tied up with the leaders and uh, yeah, absolutely that's, that's the goal right yeah well, that's they, what people they are gonna did remember. tie up now now they're you know in second well point. they okay <laughs> you know what uh, Calm down. Just giving you a hard time. Just giving you a hard time. <laughs> Spicy fish as well, man. They they had a really great start to to that game, and then it all sort of fell apart when they did, circle man. circle Pat shifted really hard off them. Patrick Caps. Patrick was, uh, Cappington. Yes. Was capping a lot of people. No cap. And that, okay, I'm done saying cap. I'm never saying that again as long as I live. As Tickleton That's picks cap. up a nice little graz for himself and a. Nice little gilly. Graza. Little Graza. Oh, oh no, the last bullet. Last bullet. <gasps> oh, Snakers is so mad. Snakers, uh, Snakers is... I don't know if he's so mad. He's probably a little disappointed, but... Yeah, well, really... yeah, Snakers not really the type to get mad. Kickstarts the type to get mad. Snakers not really the type to get mad. Kiki, uh, I think, is just, is just like resting mad. She's always angry. <laughs> I feel like Kick is always really just mellow, actually. He's like, yeah, he's, so. he's like the Incredible Hulk, you know? It's like, that's my secret. I'm always mad. There's a big pileup in the northwest here. Or excuse me, northeast. Hayson's going to take shots on Drax. 
survived. Oh, survived. Oh, nice shots from Vinny, though. Going to clean that go. one up. But that's a kill for... Or is it? Dean's there getting dangerously low. Hasten as well. They're actually getting peppered by Yahoo. Oh, my goodness. Sparking and finds another one. There you go. It's... Uh... Just 22 things, I guess. You stop down to, to open spray on a wide open target, and then you get third party. You become the target yourself, you know? That's just how it be sometimes. And they're pushing on this. Yaho is actually I mean, hunting for these kills. And this is, I, I freaking love this, dude. Well, you have to realize, they know that they are now within earshot of, of actually taking somewhat of a challenging uh, position on this leaderboard, right? And like challenging Absolutely. one and two. And so why not? You have the Nox, it's early game. There's probably not gonna be many teams in the Northeast. Absolutely go for it. And Sparking is gonna find another knock. I, mean, I love this, love, can, love, man. love this. This is exactly what a team chasing in third needs to do. And, and this is what they're doing. 100%, pick that one up, easy peasy. Sparking gonna add another one to his wall as he continues to collect more kill Scalps, points. Scalps, yeah. I mean, just goodness. He he managed to get, after that game, uh, remember, Balefrost was in our kill lead, sparking yes. now in second. Uh, he was three kills behind, so now he's one kill behind Spar uh, Balefrost, his teammate, for that kill lead. Uh, goodness. We'll see if Yaho can continue their reign of terror here. Meanwhile, 22 down to two. Have just uh, they've just escaped so far. They're outside of the circle again. Yeah, and going back to synergy as we see them on screen real quick. Uh, kind of back to my point where they have these good fights, but they're losing at least one member. You know, twelve out of well, twenty-seven matches. Yeah. Like that's that. You know, that's kind of been the story, right? Like they, they've been getting in fights with with really good teams. They've been winning those fights, but they're just coming in too early, and those scraps early are costing them going into the mid to late game. It's still a very good team, though. Oh, absolutely. And, I mean, you can see the splits that they have right now. But, uh, you know, maybe it's kind of uh, – it's it's taking these splits and then you have your solo player that's maybe stepping out a little bit too far or, or you know, taking that knock and, and putting themselves in a position where they get knocked and immediately flushed. So, uh, you know, it's just – it, it's it's all a learning experience, right? You, you figure stuff out as you're going, and each lobby, obviously the grand finals lobby, is going to be different than anything they played up until this point trying to get there. So uh, it, it's yeah. getting yourself back into that and, and figuring out where to expect people to be, essentially. And I think this has been a great this has been a great event for them, and I'm sure they'll take a lot from this event. Meanwhile, though, Yahoo is still absolutely hunting every single oh kill God. that they can. They're going to find another knock, and now it's Capitan who has to just get the hell out of there. Yahoo is coming for points, man. I I cannot express how much I love the way they're playing right now. Dude, there's so many times that we see situations where like, oh, if this team just decided to play aggressive and go hunt points and they, and they we, may have a shot. We don't see it a lot. And, yeah. And nobody ever does it. They're just like, oh, we're just going to keep playing our game, you know, blah, blah, blah. Well, I mean, now at this point, it's perfectly set up for Yaho to do this. They've got a 38 point lead on fourth. On fourth. Yeah. Well, you know, there's it's not very likely that they're going to get caught. They just. At least in one or two Yuma. games. Yeah, why not spend a game or two if you know you have that cushion? Exactly, exactly. what you're saying, Mike. Yeah, use that freaking cushion, get the kills, play aggressive. Sure, if you go out early one game, yeah, that might set you back a little bit, but hell, at least you tried. And and what's the, the opposite side of that? You get the kills, you hunt down the teams, and you end up exactly. closing that gap. Exactly, and that's, and to be this honest... This is the perfect mindset for this team. I love it. This is, this is the... I don't want to say it, but this is... And the that's perfect, a circle for them. Oh. This is a, this is a this is a perfect formula and yes. setup for hot drops. Mm -hmm. it's, and I don't know if Yoho's going to do it. I, I mean, right now they're just on the hunt, and it's working out a treat for them. Uh, but this is this I like is this an ideal approach. scenario yeah. for the hot drop situation. I, but they I need so many kills. I don't know if it's worth doing the hot drop. I, I yeah. was just about to say I like this approach way more than a potential hot drop because in a hot drop you it's. It's kind of like flipping a coin, just like you may hot drop, you might not get any armor, you might not find a helmet, your gun might be crap compared to someone else who gets like a shotgun up close, right? You know what I mean? And so like, I like the fact that they're they're dropping, they're looting, and then they're hunting when they actually have the meds, the gear, the guns, the, the you know, the optics, whatever, whatever have you. Sure. 
Uh, it's uh, I, I, I think I definitely agree. I'm just throwing out the hot drop out there. Just no, to, it's to a valid it point for sure, especially if they need like if it comes down to the last game, last game, and they have to hot drop to win. Absolutely, go for it. You know, if that's if that's the game winning play and it's the tournament winning play, risk it. Go for it. Go for those big plays. Go for those big moments. But right now, I don't think they need to hot drop. Yeah, no. And, I mean, especially Fuma. Uh, kind of maintains their distance from them, right? Sure. Or I guess if they maintain their distance from Fiumba, uh, and you don't have to worry about potentially, you know, losing out on third. Uh, but this is this is the only way, so uh, to try to catch uh, catch up with the leaders. But uh, Sonics, meanwhile, they've got four deep playing the roadside. Looks like they are going to move on once again. Uh, they're just stopping here to scout. Bing bang boom, coming in as well from that south side. As uh, while all this was going on, everything kind of centered up on those Bendita fields just off to the east of the Bendita crater. It's pretty and light on the north side here for wildcard. Uh, oh, Eep. I don't think that was what they wanted, but they're still I think they're just cruising. They're taking this little I say little. It's actually pretty wide 2 two split again. BBB taking another very That's wide BBB. split potentially yeah. could work out for them. But the biggest issue is I, I really I'm not quite sure how much support they're actually getting from the southern split. I think they might be able to see maybe over them. But I mean, if Yahoo decides to crash that, I don't think there's really anything the other side of that split can do. Yeah, it looks like the southern southern splits on the move once again. Yeah. As, uh, okay, and I could have just nice running into spicy flex, spi spicy, spicy fish, flex, Capitan icy going down. <laughs> Dude, I, did you see that on purpose? I didn't. I just can't oh, help she it. Thought you did. <laughs> I cannot help it. Like once I said it once, now it's just ingrained in my freaking vocabulary. Spicy and it's just flex. I can't I can't not say it when he's on the icy screen. Icy the last player up for Fiumba. Let's see if he can try to survive a little bit longer, maybe get some placement points, but check in with 22. They've pulled in, uh, the last two members at least, have pulled in just on the other side of Just Too Easy. Just Too Easy, I doubt, will try to go and clear this out. Yeah. Uh, they're, they're pretty really, comfy for the time being. It's also just not really their MO. I mean, they're, they're much no, more comfortable no. just sitting in a compound rather than, than being more aggressive outside of it. And you know what, if that's what they like, that's what they like. Uh, also, to, to BBB's point, though, I think that first initial duo that went to split were actually also helping scout for them to move up. So, yeah, still smart yeah. stuff. I mean, I we say this BBB, is a much better two two. Yeah, yeah, we say BBB do a lot of like pretty greedy split splits sometimes, but at the very least, like they are aware of you know their surroundings. Ooh, there you go. And 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 how they should split when it, when the circle closes or shifts. So, definitely giving BBB credit. Well, get a classic Bendita circle to see e United moving their members just to the south of the crater sonics keeping an eye on that they'll just go ahead and backfill easy peasy yeah why not yeah. easy peasy indeed and uh that, meanwhile that, that compound that sonics has taken is kind of hard to defend uh, a lot of times but you also you don't expect a lot of people to try to crash from that, there either so yeah i mean that one's also not that bad especially on the edge because they they should be able to control the the north and south is what they really have to worry about right they don't have to worry yeah. about the, the west at all so this this compound should be just fine and it is in an open field so any teams driving towards them should get fairly shredded on the way up yeah just make sure you keep your vehicle safe because you're gonna yes. when you have to yes, leave yes, here yes. it's gonna be gonna be tough as is your host in. sending it to the compound where just too easy is to get kills i, I think they are I, oh they, and i love it they're either doing that or, i mean they're definitely sending it to this dip right we see this dip yeah. get a lot of play uh early well, it's on good to it, fight out of absolutely yeah, absolutely and it looks like they're comfortable just kind of uh, hanging out here for the time being now again just too easy they don't have to worry about any of this oh no bing bang boom oh they try to send everybody in they try to send it across the field Oh and my god, they got shredded by lighting them up. Sharp shot, the last one alive here. And his vehicle is smoking. Is it on fire just yet? Now it is. It's, and it he's is now. Get oh. there. Get in, get in, get in. Oh, no. sparking. Sweet safety. Oh. He's so close. He's in the shack. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. That is most unfortunate, though, for BBB. That is tough. It's tough stuff. I mean, it was it was always going to be a hard rotation. But and, it is uh, dangerous, though, because look at SG on the leaderboard, man. They're only six points behind, excuse me, five points behind, six points behind uh, the lead off of them for eighth. So that's it's a little worrying for them. Well, yeah. And if you if, it, if you also consider just the, the, the tiny tournament going on between BBB and wildcard, 
Uh, yeah, true. Uh, again, I mean, this PGC points on the line. Wildcard's got the lead right now, and now Bing Bang Boom is out, and Wildcard's still four up, and they've got a nice little spot for themselves on that north side. Let's see what T8 decides to do. They might end up running the same path that Bing Bang Boom just did, and it looks like that's going to be the wise call. With SCG there. I mean, SCG is not missing either on these vehicle rotations. They are absolutely getting their licks in. No, they are not. They are hitting just about everything. Synergy as well is going to be doing a lot of damage. And by the time they get all the way over here and get into Yahoo's line of sight, actually looks like they'll be able to make it. Okay, so I think the problem there for Bing Bang Boom was that they tried to do it in too few cars. And, yeah, uh, I mean, one car is infinitely easier to shoot than three. <laughs> so. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you know, nobody's, they don't have everybody focusing down. And okay, we get the hard shift to the north. And, and this uh, is, that is tough. This is actually so perfect for Yahoo, though. I mean, they, they now are on the edge and they can just, once the circle closes, work forward with so much terrain as well. They don't need vehicles at this point. This actually works out pretty nicely for, uh, for obviously, Wildcard already up sure. there on the yeah, north side. Sure, yeah, Wildcard as well, yeah. Uh, but Sonics is going to wrap around there as well. I, I have to imagine that, that north side looking real nice. The Spicy Fish trying to take the fight with Synergy. Nobody lost yet. Nobody knocked just yet. Pippa, the last one up, or actually Pippa with Danny. Danny going to find Moody, though, and immediately gets traded back by Pat Cap. So Moody should be resable here if they can get rid of Pippa. Pat Cap's looking to see if he can find anything here. And there he and goes, he the will. push, and he gets Pat, it nicely man. done Hell by Pat Cap. Spicy Fish, again, four kills. Mm -hmm. They're finding uh, and some kills starting early, today. too, right? The last game, they had four kills early with, with the wipe on SCG. And so that's another strong start for Spicy Fish. Let's see if they can T8 keep building as well, on getting it. Getting a nice... Yeah, they got a long way to go, unfortunately, for Spicy Fish. They are at the very bottom part of that circle. Uh, uh oh, Troglodytus, they run into 22. They try to send it to that same dip and they lose three just like that. Haven, the last one up for 22. Rusty Zero, the last one up for Trog. Good spray from Haven. Gets him down to about half HP while Rusty Zero has to stop Why for the cause? reload. But look at he cuz the grenade. Oh, it's huge. It's right oh. on top of him. It's going to get a couple. He's it's all get of them. All. He and steals light. three. What a grenade from he cuz as Young Kings picks up a nice another stack of points for themselves and look at this 22 somehow the 22 to stay alive. did all the work for those knocks oh no <laughs> to be not stolen oh this is not, not great. when you need to flip the car but h1 will find gats so that opens up a little bit of a door here for sonics all things considered though losing your car here in this circle it, it could have been a lot worse it could have been sure a hell could. of a lot a lot worse Shrimzy finding himself in the open though still somewhat okay yeah he's gonna be all right that that could have been <laughs> could have been uh a disaster, but they're okay. They're okay. Well, speaking of disasters, Dodge getting pushed from both sides now. They ran into wild card on the north side, lost two, and now Sonic's coming from the south. As uh, Tiggleton just looking up, making sure that those air bomb grenades don't land on him. Keeping happy feet on the Sonic's boys here. H win the trailing man in vehicle, coming to join the rest of the boys. Ethan and Finna just holding the angles here while the smoke walls bloom. And this is a, I mean, this is a precarious push, even with only a couple members up of, yeah, of Dodge. Ooh. I mean, it's difficult to, to just push in, especially with these smokes coming in. Tig trying to clear out the larger part of this concrete. They're going to realize that both members are inside the enclosed part. Ethan goes down and they'll go immediately for that res on a mime nicely. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Finna. That was Finna actually just... so what smart. A play. But also cost him. <laughs> he does go down in the end. I would have liked that so much more if he got out. I thought he was going to be able to, to wrap the blue, get a knock, and get out. But, I mean, he basically just he kind of suicided for that. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, unfortunately there. Or Finna, also unfortunate for Mime, obviously, going yeah. down there. Tiggleton will get the heel off. They'll be back up to three strong. You see h went already starting to creep over and spot out. Wadez gets the knock. And uh, the circle, once again, just... Donutting up here and Sonic's in a little bit of trouble here as Nikos looks like he's spotted them out wild card Looking at him from that north side Yaho, they've still got places to go. They're outside a circle right now And it doesn't look like they're too terribly interested in pushing through just too easy to get there um, I am curious when Yaho is gonna make their move though because circles obviously not on them They could potentially try to push that compound or they could wrap 
ahead to the there's like a central there's a central shack that they could potentially play as well i don't know if they know that's open but oh shrimsy getting knocked midair it's just win now yep just like that wild card good shooting from them on the north side win all by himself inside la bandita crater he's got tokyo manji gang spread out around him he already took one off of them knocked him down to three but he's got his work cut out for him here as he has to make his way through e united also slowly slowly pushing in on that south side e united though has such a good position to push off this top like this kill this this ridge the top the top of this crater is is actually it's so good to play on foot 22 Number so of... finding some kills as i say that <laughs> down okay. coast haven well 22 causing problems for just too easy who had to worry more about uh about yeah, Yahoo. Mm -hmm. and there you go h wing will get spotted out so sonics is down United holding on to the lead now with five points. Rello going to go down, though. Flood gets knocked very, very low as Tokyo Manji Gang starting to look like they found a little bit of an angle there. Should be easy res here on to Relo. Yaho, meanwhile, seven kills already, and they're just continuing their reign of terror. They've got short circuit gaming kind of pinned out yep. in those fields right now. SCG uh, is in, though, so they don't necessarily have to move right this second, but moving afterward is going to be difficult. More importantly, Poro, the way that Yaho pulled up in front of this compound so that they can also hold out just too easy is, again, mm -hmm. the, the, the decisions that they are making right now into these more aggressive plays to hold out other teams and get the points is, is exactly what they need to do. Just too easy and a lot of trouble here. They got Yaho on the low side, E-United, as you can see, keeping eyes on them from the top. And the circle has arrived, so they have to leave completely. New circle pops, and it's going to go north again as Young Kings, their compound gets a little bit blessed here. But everybody else has to be on the move. Wildcard actually in a pretty nice spot here as well as they'll find Emmy, take out what's left of Fiumba. Wildcard now to a nice little stack of kills for themselves. Still stack indeed, and that Ooh. again, that team needs to nine for you. Oh Yahoo. my goodness, are they gonna do this, me. man? That's crazy. That is absolutely crazy. I I just want to see it. I the way that they're playing is it's so good. I just want to see nothing but success. Oh. Shit boy, oh. shit boy almost gets them. They end up going down in the end. And now that's 12 kills for you. Oh, and again. they should be able to get the res on to shin boy fairly easily again. here. E United starting to look into La Bandita Crater, so Yaho, they'll have four up. As E United starting to make their way in, you can see Wildcard very split. They've lost one. They've got Tokyo Manji Gang pinned down in the crater. Meanwhile, Young Kings just listening to all of this go on while they sit in their compound. Yeah, I mean, they. <sighs> It is a very good compound the Young Kings find themselves in. I, I do wish that maybe one or two members would just go to the, the north side of that hill, right? And make sure that no one crests over that way, because that also gives them a, a, a lot of control. Oh, man, I mean, look at this. They If they... Oh, nicely done, Kickstarter. But, I mean, Young Kings is in prime position to jump up to fourth, which that's would true. be a yeah. ton. I mean, that's over 100 PGC points in their hand if they can take it. Now that Fiumba is having a little bit of a slide here today, and they are two points away, and Young Kings primed to make some and moves here. This is here. the biggest. Now, this is oh, the this biggest is fight of the fight. game right here. Yep, this is the this is the only fight really that matters as far as these the the leaderboard, the top of the leaderboard, I should say. Sparking gonna find the opening knock on a flood with a well placed grenade. More utility being traded back by E United. You see a ho taking a lot of damage, but no knocks just yet. And this is Thank precarious you. for both teams. Snaker's just holding on to the line, looking for anybody to peek up over that ridge line. Yo, will lose Shin Boy. Good shots from Kickstart. Going to be thing to open things up here. As Snaker's, oh, spots out sparking. Gets them low, but doesn't get the knock. And the rough thing here is Poon and, and Sparking kind of have to continue peeking off of that low HP in the back just to make sure that Bale doesn't get completely crested and, and shot. So it's a really rough fight. <laughs> United's Shin playing it about as well as they can, doing a lot of damage. Shinboy gets flushed out. Poonage goes down as well. Meanwhile, in the kill feed, you can see wildcard dispatching of Tokyo Manji Gang. Sparking will find one. Oh, goodness, can sparking. he find another? No, he goes down. He United cleaning up Yaho, and they should be able to get that res onto Snakers as well. And that was massive because if Yaho was able to win that fight or, or take control over it, I mean, that was going to be a big push 
to even get closer to them, but E-United stopping that exactly where they needed to and keeping four alive, which means that they might be able to do more, but actually Young Kings has done what I wanted them to do earlier. This is perfect. This is actually perfect. They realized the fights were going on. They left the compound, take more aggressive control of the hill. Beautiful stuff, man. Really like Young Kings today. Yeah, you know, the one thing I would say, maybe a little bit too late, Wildcard able to get the reses off and E-United as well as now they do spot out Greg Shot, so they'll have him go down. Adam goes down as well. Now Nico's the last one up. Young Kings very well aware of E-United's positioning, so they yep. are avoiding that line of sight while still trying to dispatch of Wildcard. They left Ikas in the compound just to try to keep an eye on things coming from the other side here as they try to finish off what's left of Wildcard. Psycho. He might be getting fed the information that E-United's coming. Nice shots from Andy. We'll find Snakers. The knock comes through, and now you can see Flood on the low side. They hear the engine. They'll take the spray, but they won't get the knock just yet. He's hiding just behind that vehicle. It's pretty much the only cover he has, and Ikuz might potentially kind of be that anchor that helps immeasurably when it comes to getting rid of Flood. I mean, Flood just kind of playing his life right here he more is, than yeah. anything, isn't he? As uh, the threat of Flood might actually open up a door here for United to start making a push in. The problem for him, though, is that because with that long, that, that far back anchor position, he's seeing everything that United tries to do. And I'm as... glad. I was going to say, I'm glad they kept at least one there. Oh, yeah. No, it's, it's working out real well for Young Kings here. As they have managed to creep up, take over fourth place. A win here, though, would go a long way to securing it as United. They are trying to do the same with first. And uh, got a good hold on it for the time being. Oh, Flood loses his hard cover as it flips away from him. You can see smokes coming in from the top, trying to give him some something to hide behind. But he's going to go down to Psycho. And now that is the low man gone. And it is all a ridge line fight here, Godspeed. Yep, this is, I mean, Flood Flood had the right idea, sending one down the low ground, which is exactly, you know, what, what Akuz is doing for Young Kings. It's just Flood got knocked it. And now because of that, as you said, it is just this high ground fight now for, for E United. It's going to be difficult for them to come off of that, especially with Akuz just watching that this whole time. And it's just a straight up three on three on the top of that hill. Rello, you can see, trying to get a little bit closer. I think he's on the inside of the crater, and looks like he's been spotted out there. Already has one point. Oh, the headshot. Oh, the headshot. As he gets knocked very low, Rello almost goes down as well. You can see his helmet broken, chest broken as well. But he is in position as RDS gets his heel off as well. Kickstart and Snakers. Snakers playing a little bit further back here. Kickstart just kind of peeking up over the top. And Aku's coming up, pulling up on the side of the mountain. I, I like this play a lot. That's that added pressure. Yeah, this might be... Well, he's managed to, to kind of make his way in without being spotted out. I think Snakers may have been the one keeping an eye on him. And uh, got some damage knocked, in, though. couldn't get... Oh, Kickstarter will find Psycho. That opens up a little bit of a foothold here for United. As they've turned it down to 3v3. But it looks like RDS going to go for the res immediately and one. Smart play. We'll spot yep. him out, make sure that he covers them before the push comes through. And now it comes through. Rello, very, very low. Kickstart gets one. Kickstart gets two. Oh, no. Rello gets traded out, but it's down to a 2v2. He gets spotted by Psycho. And it's now all snakers. of a sudden, Snakers in a 1v2. Psycho gets knocked very low because we'll give him some support. Snakers. I've seen him win these. I've he seen Snakers could, win these. He could do it. We've seen Snakers. He's been on fire this tournament. 910 damage for him so far. As he has been doing work, but he's... Nice got, try. Oh, nice try from Snakers. Nice try, but, but well played, yeah. Young Kings get the victory and a secure hold on fourth place. Again, I just feel like Young Kings is showing levels of proactivity and awareness around their the area that they're playing more so than we've seen in the past and today more so than this entire event and even though they haven't they've they've been having a good tournament overall again it's just the way that they're playing today the adjustments that they've made the aggression that they're showing off of the positions that they're playing they're not just sitting in their compounds anymore 
This is exactly well, what is working for them, and I love it. I will say they sat in their compound pretty damn late that time yeah, around. I mean, but it, was, they, it was only look, two I'm, teams left before they finally left. But, I'm trying uh, to be but, nice. Hey, you know, be <laughs> nice, but look, hey, we still got to be real, right? They got a compound, True. and they got a lot of circle luck, and that's just kind of how it goes sometimes. And, but they uh, and played the it end, well. And they still won. They still won against E United uh, and, and Wildcard, so really cleanly done from Young Kings. Well, we are going to take a quick break, but before we do, I want to let you know that PCS7 registration is open now. Go to na.pubgesports.com to register your team up for a chance at PGC points and $250,000 in prize money. Make sure to go sign up there at na.pubgesports.com. Games start August 10th, so make sure you go quickly because it's right around the corner, Godspeed. But we're going to take a quick break. When we come back, Analyst Desk will break down what we saw in that last game. Vendita, it's a wreck, but on the outside of it, it was a mess as teams were scrapping for as many points as they can get. United getting some lead over Sonics, but Yahoo still wanting to try to pick up more. All that said, we have a new storyline that we have got to make sure that we hit, and that's going to be Young Kings now passing the Yumba camp. Yeah, technically not new. They did win game number one, and that already put them a lot closer uh, to Fiumba as well as Dodge and Wildcard. But with this second win, they're now in fourth place. And as far as that seed from Latin America to PGC, admittedly, they are coming with a pretty 
big like hole they need to climb out of however if they can keep that fourth place finish here in these last couple of games and follow it up with a good performance at pcs7 then we're gonna have another team potentially to be talking about well we are done with miramar so this is going to be our last miramar highlights clover take it away I got this one only because yeah, I just really want to talk about this push <laughs> oh, from Sonics okay. onto Dodge. It really, I really just cared about H Win getting that knock all the way out from the blue to allow Sonics to get to this position in the first place. Dodge made it really hard, or rather, I should say, Wild Card made it very, very hard. Finna did swing out in the blue, make sure that Sonics really felt the the pain, felt the burn from that push. But that was a great push that we expect to see from Wild Card. Jaho as well, also another solid, solid game from them more than solid actually another great game by them a lot of fights a lot of scraps they didn't make it super late into the game they didn't get a podium finish but they got a whole bunch of points out of it so honestly i think i'd be happy too this is what we expect from your whole, whole bunch of kills they did eventually go down to united which is i feel like that's usually what it is rock paper scissors united has rock your hoe has scissors but listen united they had their own great game to speak of yeah, and I mean, obviously, too, this this fight uh, along the edge, we were watching these two teams apply pressure for quite a long time, and you could see double-digit kills for both of them on this end. And Yahoo's game, I mean, that is going to solidify them in third place for this event, which is what they really needed because of teams like Young Kings, who have just been absolutely popping off. Right now, we're seeing the final fight. Prior to this moment, there was also the wild card aspect. Uh, Niku's the last player, and both teams had the same idea. They're like, let's try and capitalize on what wild card was doing finally bringing the fight to them ikus with that beautiful off angle uh to finally solidify the win and i know we called it or the rather the the casters called it sneakers had that opportunity to potentially uh create the upset but the real upset here has just been the amount of points that young kings has put down today yeah i mean sneakers can win those but in this case young kings is gonna win it with a 10 10 split between them so United 269, Sonics 252, Yoho back behind that at 231, Young Kings now in fourth at 193. Looking through the rest of it, you can see the fact that Wildcard is still tied up now with Fiumba. That's going to make it just a smidgen more spicy with Dodge only two points back behind that. Man, okay, now we go to Aaron Gell, and there's been a lot of talk about the last two games for teams like BBB, but also going back to Erangel, which is the, I guess, the classic map where it's comfortable, Cam. Do you think yeah. that we're going to now see the just gates come open for some of these different positions, like specifically the middle of the pack? Or are we going to see Sonics and E United just shut those doors? I mean, I expect to see E United and Sonics to continue to uh, perform themselves, right? But honestly... I just want to see more of Young Kings. I think that their performance today has been great. I want to see them really make Fiumba and 22 continue to fight over those PGC points come PCS7. Do more games. So with this, we are going to throw it over to our casters. Come on in, Bo. Come on in, Godspeed. <laughs> oh, God. What do we got? What do we got? Yeah, what you yeah, guys got your eyes on going into this over. game? I'm here, baby. We got two more games left to go, boys and girls. And man, I uh, I don't even know. I don't even know what to expect. You don't even know. Uh, to be honest, because there's so many teams at this point that have literally nothing to lose. And nothing. Yeah. Like a hot drop. I think it was a Dustin that was talking about hot drops. Definitely uh, not me. I said <laughs> no. That was that was Toro. Don't don't even try to put no, that crap on Dustin. me. It was Dustin. Nope. 100%. Yeah, definitely not. I rarely talk about hot jobs. You can't, otherwise he'll risk getting fined again. No. Uh oh. True. Oh, that's true. That was in the past. That was in the past. Damn. Dustin out here catching strays twice it's all on good, his. Baby. It's all good. On his I ain't even Milta tripping. Power fist fights. It's all good. <laughs> well, if I can breathe. Uh, it doesn't Prefer look like didn't. we'll have any hot drops here, but uh, 22 going to go Primorse. So I think Wildcard may have not been expecting that looked like they were kind of heading that direction now they instead go to quarry uh, short circuit gaming young kings uh kind of real close to each other as well that was my I don't bad know, i uh, totally it, it, didn't I, realize no hot that drops obviously split your hoe but two. i've i've got to focus on the fight for first at this point right like yeah. it's got to be the fight for first that we keep an eye on well, and again, can Yaho make that like really crazy push to try to even catch up, right? They they were getting pretty damn close last game. Obviously, United getting second and getting a good amount of kills doesn't help. But I mean, I, I would like to see the same philosophy that 
Yeho was employing in their last game, early game, into this game, if possible. Obviously, if it's if it's reasonable for them to do so, if they have the, the gear, the positioning, the vehicles, what have you. Um, yeah. It would be nice to see them do that again. But yeah, I, I, I think Sonics and United are, are going to continue to push the envelope and then really, you know, put the pace on Yeho to, to to basically make it unreachable by the yeah. by the last game. Yeah, I mean, yeah, look, hey, uh, so far today, Sonics and E United, they're they're neck and neck. I mean, they're yeah. keeping pace. I mean, twenty three points for E United, twenty two points for Sonics. They're they're doing what they have to do. Yep. Uh, they're they're not having any zero point games, which has been a has been a problem at times for E United. And uh, so far today, they're they're not well, doing you, it. Yeah, you could say their first game was was <clears throat> not good. I, I think it was like that first game where they got wiped a little early. They they might have gotten like a couple of kills, but yes, th to your point, they didn't get any zero point games. And more importantly, after that game, they obviously fixed that issue, right? They sure. they were able to write that. So, and that's what we expect from United. It's not really a surprise at all. No, not at all. And uh, it, it, well, <laughs> you say that, <laughs> lest lest we forget PCS six. When uh, on the yeah. final day of play, United had got 14 points. There, there have been cases in the past, but I, I still think generally it's it's pretty safe to count on a United to not completely, yes. you know, drop the ball. That 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 day more the exception than the rule. Yes, for sure. Yes. Um, that being said, we're now over to Erangel. Um Neither of these two teams really. Uh, I guess if you if you were going to look at, at one or the other, it's Sonics has been a little bit more. Uh, had a little bit more success on Erangel than e United. E United's been more 50-50 uh, coming into today, at least, uh, before those three Miramar games. Uh, Sonics had been more successful on Erangel uh, in, in terms of points. Uh, but I, I don't think either one of the, the, the maps which really benefiting one more than the other. Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think so as well. I mean, as well as it depends on the circle, right? We look at map stats a lot, like, oh, what team does better? It, all, it just completely depends on what circle they're given, what rotations they're forced into, and, exactly. and, and all that, so. Yeah, I mean, look, we, we, that's our job, right? As casters, as analysts, we try to look at the, at the stats, oh, we look at the numbers, we try to put together storylines, we put together trends and stuff like that, but when it comes down to the times like this, there's so many more important things uh, going exactly. on. I mean, where the exactly. team's headspace is, how they're feeling, how their confidence is looking, and uh, it's it's way much way more than just uh, a number. Just the stats, exactly. Yeah, there's there's a, oftentimes yes, stats are a, a wonderful thing to look at as far as a baseline. But yeah, there's a lot of other things that go into it. Like mental is a big one that you just mentioned, right? A team's mental obviously sonics and the united have incredibly strong mental we're not talking about them having absolutely uh, it's just like in general it's just for other teams as well it's not just the top teams right it's like the teams on the bottom who are struggling like how is their mental going into these final games and so on and so forth oh harold it's the jump is bing bang boom running a little bit uh into just too easy now we saw bing bang boom try to stop and take fights before and kind of end up regretting it. Oh, he saw Rock, <laughs> he saw, he saw Rock get knocked pretty low there. Keen will find Harold at least. Oh, man. And, uh, and now just too easy. They're going to send Kalnix over to see if they can maybe uh, try to get that res, but nobody else anywhere near this. So bing, bang, boom, and just too easy have time to play this out for uh, at least for now. And, and for just too easy, I mean, we, we often see towards the end of an event, I mean, this has kind of been their issue I, I i just want to see them go off man push a team or like do something different and this seems to kind of be that case right they, they, they've taken this widespread on, on these on the ruins waves but i mean bing bang boom is just dismantling them right now it's it sure it's, it's, it's rough well molotov falls right on top of kalnix and he's gonna oh. go down oh sharp shot actually it's gonna be oldless that gets the the bullet into Dakota kid so now all of a sudden it's just down to harita or just too easy, and he has managed to escape. I feel like it's Harita quite often the last one alive, isn't it? Or am I wrong in that stat? Uh, I might be wrong. I'd have to look at it uh, again, but it does feel that way. I see where you're coming from, and uh, you, you can see TM now scrapping with Troglodytus over here at the radar tower. Necro's gone down, Posa extremely low, but Wada's and Zealot, the only two up for Tokyo Manji Gang here. Zealot will find kill demo, and now it's just down to Posa as tm trying to clean this up they could also get hello my bad back up and get back up to four there you go clean stuff they do lose colton but they should be back up to three strong and we say it all the time i mean it, it's, it's 
you take you take four for one all day <laughs> you know you don't want to lose that one player but if it if it comes with wiping an entire team getting four points and, and just clearing out your area you, you take those man sneaky. and tmg they absolutely did take that one absolutely sneaky harita is looks like he will survive it looks like bing bang boom there moving his four trying to figure out where he's gone but uh don't think they'll find him or they'll probably move on yeah before it's not they do. really worth it hunting him that long yeah. this early in the game yeah i mean you've got four up might as well wait real low uh, uh -oh. i did not see what happened to him i don't know either where's his bike there it is did he there try a flip it is did he try flip for us and get knocked <laughs> I don't know. Well, he has to sit here and take the weight of shame while Kickstart comes over. Let's see, his Kickstart. Let's get a drip check on Rilo though. Let's see what he's wearing. You know, while we have a chance. Got? Well, everybody should be wearing the the same thing, yeah. I think. No, not those pants. Look at those socks. I think well, he's got some zebras going on here. He's got some, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know, a little individuality in there. <laughs> Check back in with Harita. Still chilling, baby. He's not... <laughs> Look, there's no other shots being fired anywhere on the map right now. Uh, so we might yeah, as well I mean... keep an eye on Harita. There's no way, right? Oh, he gets accidentally run oh. over. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's happened before. Oh, dude, those are hilarious and when they happen. It's always funny. Yeah. It's, it's absolutely it's a, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's what we like to call in the in the business if you will a knee slapper. <laughs> the, uh, <laughs> it's like they'll stop down discipline from bing bang boom smoking off the crates while they loot make sure nobody takes them by surprise. And uh back in Look. the vehicles they go. I was going to say, looking at the center of the circle, though, a lot of teams have already kind of centered up quite a bit and gotten pretty close. If this, if this does end up centering up even more, it's going to cause a massive cluster in the in the center of the circle, which is generally we see that like on an edge here or there. But this is going to be a, a very, very difficult circle to, to navigate once uh, once this bad boy moves, especially if it centers up. Mm. Well, 22, once again, running into somebody early. This time it's going to be Young Kings. At least they'll be able to get the res on a Vinny right now. Dean Zera has that AUG, too. He's doing some work with it. Psycho gets knocked low. I'll have to pull back down. Gets the heels off. It's only two of Young Kings. I'm, the other two from Young Kings. Okay, there you see them on the minimap now. I'm going to try to some, offer some support. RDS 149 and Ikaz will come in from the, the long side here. Psycho... Pretty much pinned down, I think 22 realizing that. They're gonna go for the hard crash here and see if they can get rid of them. I mean, this is another early fight for 22 that, you know, historically this event have not gone well for them. Let's see if they can actually pull something out against the Young Kings. The, the, the issue is Young Kings have actually put themselves in a really nice position to, to kind of surround this one building that Psycho was originally in. And, and now Young Kings is completely pinned. And that was the shift I was kind of worried about for a lot of these teams. Yeah, uh, it's uh, it's going to be hard, mostly fields there on the southern yep. side. Is Everyone is... Mm -hmm. Yep, 22 continuing to move through. Uh, as you said, look, they're having a hard time with it. Oh, my goodness, and one. We'll find the knock there. But, uh, you know, look, if you're having issues with it, might as well use this opportunity to get reps, right? Uh, yeah. You, you, can't, you can't get better by not practicing. So 22 using this opportunity to try to see if they can take the fight against Young King. Psycho just holding on the outside. Meanwhile... Center circle, you got Shrimzy and the boys. They've got Tokyo Manji Gang moving in just off to their west. Fiumba off to the north. Bing, bang, boom on the north side of oh, Chopsticks oh. as well. Good shots from Hello My Bad. Uh, remember, they did lose Colton early uh, yep. in that fight against Troglodytus. As we cut back here to see what's happening with this Young Kings 22 scrap. Uh, yeah, and all these teams, by the way, are, are the, there is not a single team outside of United that isn't in the circle. And so this is this shift has caused everyone to get that lull. But the problem is, is there's not going to be a terrible amount of terrain to, or really much to play, kind of regardless where this circle goes, right? Yeah. And so that's what I'm most worried about. After this shift, um, I think we're going to lose a couple teams. Yeah, lots of space. Lots of space. United done a thousand damage to every team except Troglodytus. That's a small um, victory for Trog. You take that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Somehow Trog has managed to, to duck United for the most part of this tournament. <laughs> and we'll see if uh, Short Circuit Gaming can, uh, can avoid sure. 
And he fights here is looks like Rello starting to creep up a little bit close. Imagine they would be. I think they only have one player on the hill that Rilo is about to be on. That that bull that many teams often try to take uh, right in front of Rilo. That compound below, um, I feel like is where S SCG's just gonna kind of stake their claim. I think Extreme's probably gonna back up. Yeah, it looks like he. All right, actually, he's taking shots. I, I imagine he's heard the vehicle behind him, right? Yeah, that, that, was a, that was a knock on a haven, <laughs> yeah, by the way. Shots at this fight, where 22 is well. They're getting dispatched of. It's down to Dean Zara, and he's the only one left alive as Young King's just making short work of the, well, maybe not short work, a little bit longer than, uh, <laughs> than maybe they were hoping for, but. Average time work. <laughs> average time work of 22, as Dean Zara just waiting for the inevitable here. As, uh, looks like uh, keeping an eye on that. Uh, I'm, I'm keeping an eye on the United and, and Short Circuit guys. They're, they're not. Uh, they're not getting anywhere closer to each other here, so no. uh, nothing really big happening there. Spicy Flex, actually, <laughs> Spicy Fish, and Icy Flex will find Shin Boy as King Zara does get taken I care of. He's done. I it's you over. Did it on and he's spraying them. Oh, and dude. Well, because. disrespect. Okay, Why are you because disrespect the team with 61 points. That's man? just how he feels, man. You know, it's competition. He wants to okay. do it. He wants to do it. You know, Latam be like that sometimes. I guess they just. Going after each other here is uh, Zealot. As long as he doesn't bend his oh. knees repeatedly up and down, you know, that's that's where we yeah, have we issues. Do we yeah, don't we don't do that. We don't do that here. That's, that's just, it's just uncalled for. Disrespectful. A game with violence and guns. Yeah, where people yeah. shoot each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, um, that's, that's unacceptable. That's a good spray from Zealot, but he can't get the flush. So Shrimps, Shrimpsy's ability to crawl is uh, unmatched. As Zealot that, will hit himself with his own Molotov a little bit before going in to finish off the flush. Look at that shift, by the way. It shifted completely Hard towards to the chopsticks. West. Yep, and Sonics is center. Oh center my god, compound. Sonics gets every circle. I can't believe that this is happening. Sonics. I can't believe you've done this. <laughs> dead center once again. <laughs> See oh, in this fight, oh. Yahoo and United. These two have been going at it back and forth this entire event. Oh, they constantly, and E United has had their number yep. for mm -hmm. the most part here. And now Yaho all of a sudden down to one, and it's just going to be Shin Boy. Can he escape in the U.S.? Or wait, I'm sorry, that's sparking. It's sparking. Oh, I'm sorry, that's my bad. I saw. I got a little bit of a, a little bit of a weird feet here it's hard to see some of the names sometimes when they're moving really fast and, and there you go oh man that's definitely that's unfortunate for yahoo you know they, they've been making like the that dream push. might be over i i i for first place i think so i i don't know if they can get you know 80 or excuse me 50 points in the last game I don't want to put it past them. I just think it's incredibly <laughs> unlikely. 50 points and E United and Sonics not doing anything. Yeah. Uh, is asking quite a bit, for sure. Uh, Sonics, meanwhile, I mean, as we said, dead center circle. They are down to three, however, and they got Tokyo Manji Gang right on their north side here. Fiumba just off uh, in the distance as well. E United uh, got four up, one kill. Nice little spot for themselves here. This is one of those circles where there's just so much real estate, so much room to play that uh, it, I'm actually kind of surprised that we've seen as much fighting as we've had. Well, I've, I feel like that there is definitely some room to play. The problem is the rotations aren't safe at all. Poor. I mean, a lot of these rotations, we just saw fields, what happened. Yeah. yeah, a lot of fields. Uh, and a lot of the teams are set up in a ways to kind of punish the rotations. Obviously, United get into the spot now. SG as well coming off that compound into a split into the forest on the other side of EU. So, yeah, there's some areas to play, but getting there is the issue. And even some of those areas that are in aren't even good, right? Like past this circle. Yeah, Dodge kind of finding out the hard way right now as they take a little bit of shots from Wildcard. Spicy Fish try to find the shack in the middle of the, the fields here, but unfortunately for them, short circuit is kind of right in the same spot. Pat Caps will find Richie B. United taking shots at that from range as well. Synergy, you can see in a good spot to maybe do a little damage with throwables. Moody down to one HP oh. will go down to the nade from Nefahor. Nicely placed from him. The rest of Spicy Fish kind of pinned up against the wall, but E and I did have a little bit of an angle on this, as you see. Big shots coming through. They'll get Vox very low. Won't get the knock just yet. Kickstart trying to see if he can spot it. He does with the last bullet. Gets the toesies. Right in the toesies. Oh, yeah. 
It's one of the most painful areas to be shot right the toes. He's, he's gonna find that knock though and probably gonna get that kill. Pat Caps trying to come in maybe to save Moody off to the side. I'm not sure if he's actually gonna get to him. And E United is just, I mean, they're they're starting to get in that that dangerous position where they're getting comfortable in their in their zone and, and they're gonna start farming. Yeah, this is that this is that bad good news, bad news situation if you're a Sonics fan, right? Sonics have a great spot inside the circle. They got a great compound, but United has a good spot to do some farming. Yeah, and that's the issue. Mm -hmm. And that's kind of the issue with Sonic Spot is they, they are in a fantastic spot, but oftentimes those really good spots don't give you the oh, kind of wide berth to get those points. And meanwhile, Neff is taking three Neff. of them. Yep. He's taking three of them. Can he get the last one? Can he survive? Meanwhile, United still running over there as Neff will finish off Moody. Pat Caps hiding behind and uh, actually just off to the side of that rock in the smoke. We'll throw a grenade. It's going to land just short. Nepahor, though, is in trouble as United. Ooh, spots out flood. Good eyes from Neff here as he is holding all comers off. I'm trying to survive a little bit longer. As uh, you can see in the kill feed wild card, making sure we're going to dodge. This is the issue, though. United is still finding angles and they're still finding knocks and more damage. And the, the circle actually just the shift gave them even more room to do that because once this closes, I mean, they, they don't have to worry about their south at all. Yeah, and uh, right now, wildcard and dodge fighting on the south. You can see in the picture in picture, Young King's trying to hold off the push from TAC-8, or rather TAC-8, I guess, holding off the push from what? Young King's. I'm Neff sorry. will wipe the entire squad of Spicy Fish, and now he has to deal with E United. As sorry, Rillo trying to shoot under the... Oh, there you go, Snickers. What again. is going on with wildcard and dodge? Why, well, I mean... Dodge crashed in. Dodge made the crash uh, from the right. south side. Wildcard got two initially, and now it's kind of slowed down, it looks like. I was going to say, because they've been, I mean, that that actually would have been a prime position to potentially punish the, the United from, but because those two teams were fighting or, or the crash, I mean, there was nobody looking EU's way. Yeah, they got more important things to worry about at the moment. Yep. You see Dodge, Finn and Hikerman, the only two up. They've managed to get Nikos, at least. And meanwhile, Young Kings. They're... Young Kings and T8 are, are scrapping it out on the West Compound. Yeah, we see them in the PIP and one FPS and RDS 149, the only two up. They might be able to get the res on a Psycho. Greg Shot going to run in, survives just barely with two HP. Has some support from White Kick and Moo Cow there. And T8 does get dispatched with Young Kings. I mean, Young Kings are on one right now, man. They're playing yeah. so well. Actually, I'm sorry, uh, Hooligan's still up for T8. It was... Uh, just too easy they got taken care of as now we see fiumba actually wrapping down onto that young king's t8 fight as we've got a number of scraps going on here and you can see e, uh, e united starting to make their way over to the west synergy pushing that way as well bing bang boom though in good position sonics take a knock from zealot and that might actually open up the door for tokyo manji gang to make a push so fights going on all over the map right now yep it's just a question of which ones are going to pop off first if and only I'm... we could have picture and picture and picture. <laughs> we, need, we, need, we need four pictures all at the same time right now. There you go, Tokyo Manji Gang going Probably to make that push, push yep. onto Sonics, but they do manage to get the res off onto Mime. So they will be back up to three strong. Tokyo Manji Gang having to slow down just a little bit. I think they realize the timing means that they are pushing into a full, uh, or back up to three strong Sonics at least. They'll find each win though to start things off here as it looks like this Young King's T8 Fiumba scrap has kind of come to a pause a little bit here. And then I think it's a it's a two on two now. It's a straight up two on two for Sonics and, and uh, Tokyo Manji. And there you go, Dodge finally eliminated by Wildcard. They've got two up. They could be able to get the res onto Adam as well. They get over there, United meanwhile, taking the fight over to Bing Bang. Boom, good grenade from Roth. We'll find Snakers on the rock and they'll try to back that up. They should be able to get him up though. They should be yeah. able to, yeah. Yeah. Uh, immediate a... response of utility thrown from e United to make sure that Roth didn't get any ideas. I think Roth, is Roth the only one up for Bing Bang Boom I now? think so, yeah. I think he's the only one standing at least. The other are alive but oh, knocked no. and... Never mind. Look at it. Looking at it, it looks like it looks like they managed to get the heal. Okay, Sharp Shot did just get traded back by okay. Danit as uh, Bing Bang Boom have managed to take Synergy down to two. E United will get that res on a Snakers. They will lose Roth in the process though. Meanwhile, Tokyo Manji Gang Sonic still taking their time here on that north side. They have all the time in the world. They don't have to play this fast. They're in circle. 
so they can take their time with it as Synergy still trying to push in, see if they can survive a little bit longer against Bing Bang Boom. The utility coming through. No grenades, nothing but flashbangs. They'll throw those first, try to make the push up. They spot some oh, from Bing distance. Bang Boom snakes as they will go down here in the and end. Sonic and Sonic's the other one. In. But Sonic's is actually down to just win now. Sonic's down to just win. As you said, 11 HP left on him. We got a number of fights, as we said. This is crazy. Going this is crazy. Oh, but United now up to six kills as they they just wiped through Bing Bang Boom almost instantly. Okay, we'll go full screen on H win here to see if Sonic can stay alive a little bit longer. He's going to go for the res this on the This will be a Tickleton. big recovery, Poro. If he can get up TIG and they can recover this fight away from TM, I mean, there's still a very decent chance of them wrapping even the West and taking control of that area with, with this duo. I mean, it's still very doable for Sonics, but they need to get rid of TM now, like right now. They do not have time, especially with United now wrapping them. And United yeah. realizes they know that fight is happening in the north with the Sonics, and they know that that is their number. There is no other team on this field that United really cares about, except for making sure that Sonics do not make it out of this compound with more points. That is their number one priority, as you said, and they are perfectly positioned to gatekeep that. Meanwhile, Fiumba in a great spot to try to make up some headway here on the Young Kings as they have four up on the south side. Young Kings still three up, but they are just bunkered down man they are hiding in that compound they are not moving they are not going anywhere as e united continues to sweep out looking for these kills i wouldn't even be surprised if e united like crash that and just give up their entire like team's life to make sure sonics don't make it out of it and that would be the correct play honestly uh, i mean what they're doing is also fine if they just want to win the game Ooh, and further push that gap but yeah i wouldn't be surprised if they tried to just get rid of sonics right now either play is correct for them they're, i mean they're they're ahead 20 points still yep Tickleton with the shoddy will clean up what's left of Tokyo Manji Gang, but as you said, they are just, I mean, E <laughs> United, they, they are setting looking up for at it. nothing mm -hmm. else yep. in this lobby matters for them except cleaning up Sonics coming out of this compound. And unfortunately for Sonics, they have to move. Blue is slowly encroaching. They if should have some smokes. It looks like H1's their, got a vehicle as well. Yeah, their best wrap is to the west. If they can get all the way to the west as a duo, they can start working that compound together. And I think, yeah, that's exactly what they're doing. They're going to send H-Win first. He's made it at least to the road. You can see a few shots coming through. They'll land him down to about half HP, but he survives. For now. That I mean, is, that's the important thing, at least, right? Yep. I, again, I wouldn't be surprised if United completely shift for that one member. They, they know there's another one up, right? I'm pretty sure they know Tig is still alive, or at least one other member of Sonics is alive. And they're keeping eyes over there. There's uh, Tig kind of holding on to that corner building right now. Meanwhile, on the south side, I mean, Fiuma, they're, they're not doing anything. Young Kings, no. they, they haven't moved an inch. Uh, three up in those compounds. They're just waiting for this circle to come through. We do have two solo players in Hooligan and Greg Shot, uh, one from T8, one from Wildcard, that are just holding the line right now. But all eyes on Sonics versus EU. The fight for first. The United might be able to cinch it up right here. If they can clean up Sonics and then take this and then, win, yeah, it that's might it. be done. Because again, that would be, I mean, that'd be at least like 30, 40 points in one game. And it's not impossible, especially for the Sonics. But I mean, I, I don't imagine the United would just have another terrible game with the way they've been playing the rest of this day. But Sonics are not out of it yet. And that shift helps. That I mean, it helps a little helps. bit, but Tig is still trapped. That's the problem. It doesn't matter how many smoke grenades he has. He is very much pinned. I also think what Sonics is potentially waiting for is one of the teams behind United yeah. to finally come in and, and, and do something. But the problem is, is all those teams are gatekeeping each other in the south. Fiumba yeah. is holding the one member of Wildcard, potentially, if they even know about him in that shack. Obviously, Greg Shot's not going to come out and just start shooting United in the back. And so, it's yeah, it's, this is actually working out perfectly for your United. Yeah, Fiumba and Young Kings have zero interest in getting involved in anything off to the north just yet. Yeah. Uh, and and um, to be fair, Fiumba, I mean, why you wouldn't want to try to push into E United and take the risk that you're going to get. That's not your fight to take. You're not. Push on you from know, behind. Yeah, yeah, so yeah that's. 
you got to clean up your backs before you can move forward. And well, because you also have to realize, Fuma Fuma knows that Young Kings is still alive, and they don't want they they exactly. they, they want to pass them up for points for PGC points. You know what I mean? So it, it makes sense why all these teams are are rather cautious of moving, except for E United and Sonic. So the two that are have been the most active. Ooh, Tickleton, gonna do some nice damage there. Draft King gonna find an RDS push. Tig has that smoke wall laid down. He's got a tree that he can hide him, and that's actually in circle, in, yep. too. So he is set up here. He's going to spot out Flood. Gets a lot of damage in. Doesn't get the knock, though. As e United now turning around, they find Greg shot. So e United keeping eyes on both sides here. But as you said, I mean, you got to take out Tig. You got to take out Sonic's here. As Hooligan, the solo, the snake, will find Psycho from Young Kings. As Fiumba now, everything's starting to come to a head on the south side, which is going to open up Fiumba and, and start pushing off to the north. And this is, Hooligan. I love, nicely done. That's actually two members, and yeah, that's Young Kings out. And I like what United is doing. They're actually repositioning Ooh. Reload back down to the south, holding that edge. So that way, if anyone does come to try to flank United, they shoot them off and they push them towards the west edge, which then pushes them towards the Sonics. Some slow and it doesn't here. even matter because EU was able to take out Sonics themselves before that push even came. And now it's just a four on four. Fumba versus EU United, and Fumba has outlasted Young Kings as well. Big moves. Big game for them. For if they Fiumba can win. right here. Yep. You can see it on the leaderboard right there. If they can take this win, they might be able to take that fourth place position back from Young Kings once again. As Young Kings have had a barn burner of a day, two wins. This time they get seven and kills and uh, fifth place. It's about as even as a, as a circle as you're going to get as well for a four on four, right? Like this is yeah. just going to come down to who has either more utility or who's going to have the better mechanics and better shots. So this yeah. is this is a really good opportunity for Fumba. Yeah, Fumba going for that wide split right now. You can see uh, Draft King and Emmy already inside circle. Take a position while Ribo and Capitan still on that outside. They're pretty much mirroring each other for the most yeah. part here. You can see in that mini map. And I, I don't imagine much is going to happen in this phase. I think it's going to be the final phase where they're forced to, to go towards center dot. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been a slow burn here in game number four. As the United setting up nicely or the end of the day. They've managed to take care of their number one concern in Sonics. Now can they clutch out the victory and secure their spot a little bit more firmly? Yeah, Yumba, win though, here would be would be almost the nail in the coffin if if they can pull it out, especially with the fact they already have nine kills. Oh yeah. And uh Fiuma, Tough not, uh, tough, tough fight to take for sure. As you tough see, that's a crack. Yep, I got you. Uh, Flood trading with Emmy there, as uh, Draft King gets knocked very, very low there by Kickstart. Good stuff from him, but no knocks just yet from knocks either of these just, squads. Yeah, and it looks like both. I'm looking at, at like the armor and utility. Both teams have a decent amount of meds. Armor isn't completely shredded yet. I mean, you see, Draft King just took some shots, but he still got 50% on his vest, and his helmet's pretty healthy as well. So, I mean, this, yeah, this Ooh, is, is about as even as you want a fight to be. Take Snaker's real low there. Kick is moving up, though. This is this is going to be very big. If he can make a play off this, if you can get a knock on the Draft King, or even just take this tree position. Oh, and E United is just full pushing this now. Yeah, they've taken they've center taken now. Control. Yep. They've taken center away, and they're going to force... Fiumba to try to make their moves as they are taking their time. They're right on the edge of the circle. Now, the, the problem for United, no utility really that I can see in anybody's pockets as uh, all the Molotovs have come out. They don't even have smokes. They might have some flashbangs. There you go, two smokes on Snakers. That's about it. As you see Relo keeping an eye and on Flood the as uphill well. spot. I'll say Flood's, Flood's armor, his helmet and armor are shredded, and I think Snakers is rather low as well, so they have to be a little wary of that. Obviously, some nice shots could, could turn the tide of this fight with a knock, and Kick's actually going to go down in the front. Flood as well, or excuse me, Snakers knocked to one HP. Well, Capitan going to get blinded there. Not going to be able to continue taking the shots there and on to, down onto Snakers. Emmy has spotted out a couple. See Snakers just peeking through the blades of grass. Looks like Fiumba decided to go 
Heavy on the low ground side here. Ribo will get taken out, but immediately trade back onto Rilo. Capitan is taken down as well. Emmy and DraftKing now the last two, two v two. Up. 2v2, Snakers and Flood. The smokes are down, but the smoke wall is not very large here as there hadn't really been a lot. Draft, Draft. King. Big he's been shots big. on the Flood, and now Snakers versus DraftKing for the win. 1v1, what a, he's only got nine bullets. Oh my goodness. He's, he's trying to get over to that crate, yeah, I, I think, think he's to see if he can get yep. something. I think he's just trying to loot that crate so he can get some 7-6. Oh, man. I mean, DraftKings has been so, so Ooh. good for this team. Oh! Oh! oh, I thought he got it, actually. Oh, my oh, God. My. Oh. oh, my God. <laughs> Dude, that last, that last spray and you saw the kill feed name, I was like, oh, my goodness. Oh. Wow. I mean, pal they palpitations. feel like Fiuma giving E United everything they can handle in the straight up 4v4. It comes down to a 1v1 and Snakers clutches it out, but that is, what is Man. that, a 12 kill win for E United? 13 kills. kill win for E United. That might be the nail in the coffin. It's, I think Sonics, again, if they have an absolutely huge game and Sonic and E United go out, it's still, the, the possibility is still there, but that was a big, big game for E United, to, not only because they killed Sonics, but because they won with, again, 23 more points to kind of broaden that gap. I mean, it's, it's been close. It's, it's been huge. close. I, I don't want to call it yet. I, I think there's still a chance, but E United looking damn good. Yeah, it's... It's going to be interesting. I mean, there's a lot of different scenarios you can look at, given how the uh, how the leaderboard's shaking out uh, as to what guys might decide to do. But uh, before we get ready to go into game number five, I wanted to remind you that PCS7 registration is open. The games start on August 10th. Make sure you go and sign up at na.pubgesports.com for your chance at PGC points and $250,000 in prize money. Go right now, na.pubgesports.com. Do it, as Godspeed said. We're gonna take a quick break, get ready for game number five. So don't go anywhere, we'll be right back.
Second to last game, EU United has managed to pick up a win, being the first North American win of the day. So, Cam, question for you. Yeah. Um, ex give the Sonics fans a way to understand how United are still rats. They need it right now. Ooh, <laughs> that's going to be a, a rough one. Thanks for throwing that to him. Like, I don't need that. <laughs> oh, I'm drop wow. Him no, 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 no. Because if you follow their logic, they are still rats. But how would you, I guess... I don't know. I guess when you face down a rat, it's you versus like multiples of them, and Sonic's only had two versus four of them, and I don't. They're everywhere. Ah, uh, yeah, there's something there. Ruining Twitch chat all logic. You guys gotta help us out here. What's, what's a rat? rat F? Who's a rat? Everybody's a rat. He's a rat. I don't know. Okay, we've got to break down going in. There's a lot going into this last round. Let's take a yeah. look at the highlights and take it away. Okay, and this highlight, it's all United because this was a phenomenal game for them. In fact, uh, early on, a little bit of a kerfuffle with Yahoo. You know, I like that word, kerfuffle. Keep using that. They did took up that long rotation around Millie Bridge, try to kind of keep their heads down a little bit, and then just went full force into just about everything that they could, holding this control uh, all the way through the east. Right now, we're seeing what's left of the synergy being big boom fight that then gave them this whole ridge line to play on the Sonic's TMG fight which then gave them control on all of the Latam that was happening in the opposite corner. We can see just a little kiss of that there with Greg Shot and Fiumba. But, I mean, you got to give credit to Sonics for this positioning. They really tried uh, to get something here with TMG. They did hold them out, but uh, spending as long as they did here in Dumplings, it, it put them in a really tough position. Yeah. Leaving this spot was really hard. Uh, H-Win did get that reposition, but ultimately it just wasn't meant to be. Yeah, with the control that e United, as you said, had been gathering the entire game, it was almost impossible for Sonics to try and find their own footing in with how long Team G kept them distracted. And this final 4v4, fair play to Fiuma. They actually made it incredibly close. It was down to a one versus one, but at the end, Snakers really just used the blue to his advantage. He was running low on ammo, but he had time on his side. It was close, but they were able to secure it in the end. Ooh, 23 points for E United. Fumba picking up 11, so we've still got that Young Kings Fumba rivalry that's going on. Sonic's picking up eight, Bing Bang Boom, as well as Tactical Eight picking up some. Don't forget about Wildcard. We're still keeping an eye on them and how they're going to be moving through the overall leaderboard. But now we have a 32 point differential between E United and Sonic's, with a drop down to what, 29 points into Yaho after that, then another big drop into Young Kings, but. Fumba only separated out by 11 points, and right on their tails is going to be Wildcard Gaming, who have been trying to get back into that fifth place position. They wanted eighth at the start of this, mm -hmm. but are going to end up hopefully higher than that, all considered. Now, yeah. Elephant. Oh, and even Dodge. Dodge fell out. I mean, at one yeah. point we were talking yeah. about Dodge in the contention for fourth place, and now they're in seventh. And that just shows, uh, obviously, the top three you know, that we've been seeing with United and Sonics, Yahoo, uh, firmly behind them this whole event. But it's these other four teams that have just been constantly shuffling yeah. fourth, fifth, sixth, and seventh place throughout the event. And that is such a huge chunk for PGC points, which I know we're going to get to talk about again later today. But it's why it's just been so exciting for us to follow, because the storylines on this are massive going into the end of the year. Okay. Got to talk about the elephant in the room. These point differentials yeah. are large. And... Mm -hmm. That means that if you want to try to jump, if you're in first, second, or third right now, there is an option, and that is, do you do a hot drop cam? <laughs> Listen, as you said, the, the recipe is correct, right? Yaho need to have such an amazing game to overtake the Sonics. Sonics are essentially safe in second, and they need e United to go out incredibly early Hold on, in order for them to take we them first. We can talk about first. this in a second. And we're going to talk about this in a second, but we've also got to find out who's going to win our last chicken dinner as we're going to be moving into our last game. Bring in Godspeed, bring in Poro, and we're going hey. to start trying to break down everything all together. Ooh, so chicken. go back on Ooh, it, Cam. What do we got? Hot drop Listen, or no? Yeah, Cam, what do we I, got? In the buddy? end, I was going to say no, because it's incredibly risky. They might set a trap is the thing. However, okay, we can actually see. I was I was wondering if United were going to try and switch up their drop spot in case of a drop like this, but it looks like it's not going to happen. So we can theorycraft all we want. We see it right in front of us. It's not happening. Yeah, and also Yaho have to do the same thing that Sonics have to do in order to catch United, right? So that's also it's about thirty points both ways from second oh, to oh. first and third to second. Okay, that was oh, no, we got out vehicle. Yeah. I guess that they were outnumbered oh, in the vehicle. Oh, he's... Oh, 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 Where did that shot come from? Oh, man, that one. That that one's going to hurt. Okay. Uh, another I do want to Ironside AK long shot. By another... Man, those... 
Those Latin yeah. boys do not play when it comes to the AK, and I'm about it. I'm not even a fan club, y'all. I'm here for this. I, I'm here to see Fiumba just absolutely explode this last game. Before we step away, here's my thoughts. Are we going to see maybe even any trap positionals come in, E United, Yahoo, or Sonics? I mean, I don't really think E United's going to do anything special. Honestly, they're just going to play their game. There's no need for them to do anything really at this point. Like, yeah, they could target the Sonics if they really wanted to, but it's just like... They have to find the Sonics first. <laughs> I just don't yeah, think it's like, going to happen. Yeah, yeah it's, I mean, they're like, just going to play their game, bro. You know, it's just going to be with it. <laughs> as much as I, as much as Sorry, I hate to man. say it, look, I, I, I would love to be able to to come up with some some big, you know, hype. Oh, something's going to happen here. Something's going to happen it. here. Just do it arbitrarily. <laughs> <laughs> I, I look. I respect our viewers enough to say yeah. like look that's, man that's it, the proper answer <laughs> you, you you guys know what's up you you guys see the leaderboard you guys it's, uh, are smart enough to figure this one out it, it seems like it's pretty praise, set now, now that being said sonic's could uh, like obviously sonic's got to go for a win yes now what happens to e united that's out of their hands but Correct. son i think if you're sonic's i think if you're yaho i think if you're e united all you're really doing at this point you're just playing your game you're going for the win and you're trying to secure yourself. That, that's and you know what? It. Maybe along the way they pick up 20 or like 15, 20 kills. It's not exactly. out of the realm of possibility. It really isn't. Obviously, we've seen United have some really big kill games, 18 on one. And and Sonics are capable of doing that, too. It's just the likelihood of, of it happening is what we're talking about. But, you know, we're not ruling it out. Obviously, no. we'd like this to be exciting. We'd like it to come down to the very last fight. You know, maybe Sonics versus someone one v one, regardless. But yeah, Look, it's just... the, the the excitement that we're going to be finding is happening elsewhere on the leaderboard. Correct. How about that? Correct. And, uh, like, I'm looking at fifth as you and said, there's fourth. PGC points everywhere. Yeah. Fiumba and Young Kings are, are kind of where I'm setting my eyes, at least for the early game, to see what they normally do. I'm, I, and that's just because we know e United and, and Sonics are both in positions that they're very comfortable from playing. The circle's not even bad for either one of them. And so I really want to know what's going to happen with Fiumba and Young Kings at the moment, as that well is, as Dodge and Wildcard, man. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, look, Fiumba and Young Kings has been a blast to watch uh, it really has. all day today. Like, they have been just going back and forth. Young Kings, two wins on the day. Uh, and again, the last game, it came down to uh, Fiumi and Young Kings on that on the southern side of that circle. Now they're, they're playing a little bit more safely, I guess, uh, and that's that's the problem, right? And, and we talk about it a lot when it comes to teams that are holding on to first place or or holding on to any place. Really, is you worry about playing it too close to vest, too safely? Well, yeah. Yaho actually going to push right into T8, squawking. Yep, take a shot and get right back down the hill here. Is <laughs> nope. Right of a little bit of support, just nope right on no, out of there. No, thank you. I will. Uh... <laughs> yeah, dude, that was just immediately turned out. He wanted none of that heat. And nah, I do nah. not blame him. I do not blame him at all. No, nah, they still they still got plenty left to play for here. Sure. So looks like their heaven spot will get taken away from them just off the off the start here. But uh, yeah, again, like we said, even it doesn't matter if you're in first or if you're just in fourth like Young Kings and you're trying to hold on to your spot. It's a lot harder to hold on to that hold, than it yeah. is to chase. It holding feels a like. lead, I, I can tell you from experience as well, holding on to a lead is, is, is more, I find, at least I found it more difficult than, than chasing, because chasing you have a clear goal, right? Sure. And, and you know exactly what you need to do. Sometimes just being at the top, it, it's tough to just hold that position for, you know, multiple days, multiple weekends, what have you. Yeah, and that's the, the situation that Young Kings kind of finds himself in and actually, honestly, kind of Fiumba finding themselves mm -hmm. in. If you're Fiumba, are you are you looking more towards catching young kings or are you looking down the leaderboard and seeing wild card six points behind you that's, I can, that's I can actually a really good question should, i feel like you should be looking at i feel like you should be looking, should be at looking to chase, forward yeah. yeah chasing young kings i mean that's uh, the right yeah. mindset to have right because that's a that's exactly. a winning mindset but again it's, it's tough because yeah meanwhile while you're trying to make that push against one team in young kings you have another team breathing down your neck right and that's that yeah. that that's where the difficult part becomes like do we do we hold how do we play this obviously i think the the answer the majority of the time in situations like this look at that uh, as a player is just you know just keep playing our game guys you know keep doing what we're doing um especially because it's so close right there's no like massive yeah. gap for them to catch or massive gap for them to hold so i think it's just kind of business as usual make sure they're not making any silly mistakes that are avoidable and, and then just yeah push towards the end game E United going for their third ESL title. They're really good at ESL, man. I'll tell you that. Three out of four. 
STK slash Luminosity, the only one other than E United to then get a e win United, here, and, yeah. they, and they won ESL one. And E United, I mean, this was obviously I, I remember back. It was part of that uh, that E United uh, three piece where they they won three in a row three, before yep. having it broken up by Sonics and Sonics. PCS six. Which is funny because Sonics won three before them. Yeah. <laughs> it's been back and forth, man, between these two teams. Man, it is. And it's back and forth here. Yeah, well, the, I think the exciting thing, though, is that, you know, obviously, right now, United Sonics, they are they are the top tier. They're the clear, yeah. Yeah, yes, they're clear, the clear front top runners. two teams, yes. But we do have some pretty heavy hitters that seem like they're starting to starting to creep up, man, starting to get involved. You look at Yahoo. Yahoo, man, yep. That I mean, he's been impressive. And, and then you start looking a little bit further down. I mean, Dodge has potential. I think Wildcard has Wild potential. Wildcard, man. Uh oh. Poonage and will another, find Haven. And a 22, man. Just a, again, a, it's just the, the trend continues. Unfortunate early game fight into oh, unfortunate God. early game fight. Poon is going to find two now. And 22 is about to have their tournament potentially cut very short. In a 16th place finish. Uh, and there's Vinny gone down, and just like that. It's, uh, look, I, I understand it's hard to take these peak battles, uh, with Ping, but. Oh, oh he threw his pin at him. Oh, no. And you know what? <laughs> it was it is what it is. It was it sparking is. the through the pants. Was. Okay. Of course it was sparking. So let's, like, uh, uh,. You know Look, what? GG go next. 23. Yeah, you got Gizera on deck and that kid's cracked. Not only that, but like, yeah, it sucks that they're in last place, but just take everything that you can from this event. Take all the mistakes, take the things that you did well that worked and try to adapt that to the next event. Yeah, it sucks they got 16th, but you know what? It's just like you said, GG go next. 22, I'm sure we'll, they'll be back and I'm sure they'll have a better event next time. So we'll yep. see them. We'll see them again. We'll see them PCS, again. PCS 7 prep starts yep. now. Yep. And, uh, be exciting to watch them with their with their new team member Gizera. Like I said, yeah. I, I've seen that kid in scrims. You've been hyping is, him up, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. He's cracked. Like I was, I I, I think he might actually be better than than Posa. Uh, and wow, Posa had a lot of hype coming in there. That's so a bold statement. Posa been playing like uh like a Posa's like crazy. Been, he's been good. He has been good. So we'll see how it works out for them as young kings making their rotation up around that cube area coming in from that north side north side uh, for their the good enough for them pretty empty right now the only team up there right now is tokyo manji gang and they're on the move uh kind of starting to wrap into that north side of yesnaya so should be pretty free yeah. skating and they're going to continue to wrap too they're not going to yeah. uh, i highly doubt they would stop there anyways yeah should be should be pretty free sledding for young kings uh although Get synergy in Watertown. Uh, I'm assuming that Young Kings is going to keep going further north. <laughs> Hopefully, they don't go for this bridge because synergy will be ready and waiting for them. As uh, I mean, synergy man. as well. Like you want to talk about teams? Oh, they, they they're only Benya, ten points man. behind top eight. Silzen and Benya have been Silzen and Benya have been so uh, fun to watch. Which is which is kind of crazy because if you think about it, back in the past, right when we're talking about synergy, Pippa, I feel like one was the, was one of the members yeah, to talk about on this team, he was. And, and that's not to he say that is. he's yeah. And, and my point is, is that's not to say that he's fallen off. It's just Silzen and Benya have been such an incredible addition to this roster. I mean, honestly, obviously Danny's great as well, and I, I really like this new synergy gaming. Yeah, I I, I can't wait to see him. Uh get a few more reps in and, and see what they bring into into the rest more of the year yep 100 yeah, I mean, bro 100 but uh yeah it has been absolutely a joy to watch benya and uh and you gotta imagine man a young kid like that getting to play with a, a, a wily veteran like silzen like silzen yeah dude that's that's oh, gotta be crash. a huge boon oh look at this yo immediate trade right off the bat old is gonna go down but bail for also get traded as yo passing by here Sharp shot back in the building as Bing Bang Boom just playing defend the fort, but now T8 up oh, on the top. Sparking. Oh, sparking! Sparking! Sparking's a stopper right now. Through the window, sparking having the t what a day he's having, isn't he? As uh, they Yaho has to be quick about this though, as we mentioned T8, you can see right over there. E United as well starting to creep over in this direction. Keenan and Roth now the last two up for Bing Bang Boom. As they, they gotta deal with the Sonics now. Yeah, they've that's a lot of issues going on here for Bing Bang Boom. They tried to do that 2 2 split again. It is not paying off as Sonics immediately land half of Roth's HP. 
as uh, they've got a, a nice wall to work with here they lay down the smoke good discipline stuff here from sonics making sure that they don't get taken shots in the back and it's just yeah i mean if you look at where the other half of of bing bang who died i mean it's not even close Ooh. it's not even close to this position and now it's just up to roth and a completely burning building and that is it bbb is done I mean, look, Bing Bang Boom had some very, very big moments this tournament. And, uh, you know, they they won't be... I, I, I know they're not going to be happy about finishing no, eighth. They're not. But, they're uh, not. you know, they definitely could have gotten a lot more work done. But they are situated nicely uh, for PCS7 uh, as to, in terms of the... I mean, they're going to be in a scrap, man. Sure. There's no it's, two yeah, ways they're about gonna it. Have they're they're going to have to play their asses off in PCS7. Uh -huh. uh, Bing Bang Boom, wild card uh luminosity Dodge. they are going to be in a scrap yep. for those final spots and uh it is it's, it's gonna be exciting man uh for sure <laughs> i'm actually really looking forward to i mean i'm always looking forward to uh to like the pcs majors but like this <laughs> this one is gonna be holy moly <sighs> It's we still got a game a, here, though. It's going to be a banger here. for sure. But yeah, no, uh, I, I think I, it definitely, no matter if you're a United Sonics Yaho fan, regardless, uh, it's you guys are looking pretty damn good uh, as far as PCS go or PGC points go. Uh, and, uh, you know, I think regardless of where you end up finishing first, second, third, uh, you can definitely be happy no matter who you're a fan of uh, with your team's performance here. True. Big true absolutely big true as we now look at dodge in a nice position here this is uh in a split between this kind of southern new compound uh on the on the pie road we used to call it at least um the pie road in that basin yeah because it looks like the pie symbol you know oh that's what we yeah, called never, it anyways i knew a few yeah, that. Uh, you have the teams that call it that i have no idea what it's called now but <laughs> things change things change call outs change it's fine as uh, we're we're now the boomers of PUBG, <laughs> we're not calling this things the same thing as we used to call them in early access, are we? As, uh, we still have like certain things like no lean, right? No lean will always be no lean, and certain compounds yeah. in certain areas will definitely be that. But yeah, yeah, invisibles and mm -hmm. all that good stuff. Yellows, six pack, yellows. twelve pack, chop. Yeah, all those are still relevant for sure. For sure. As, uh, checking back in with Yo, they get their res off on the knocked man and immediately in the vehicles splitting in between that 2-2 split from Sonics as they'll take a little bit of sh it'll take some fire here everything mostly landing inside the vehicles not so much on the mans themselves as uh, we're going to once again man right to that uh, the hills and the open area just off to the east of school and look at Yaho Remember when Sonics won a game from yep, here? I do remember that. It seems like Yaho remembers as well, and they're going to the, send it right in. The only issue I have with this for Yaho, I mean, it's not really an issue. It's just they're not really going to get a lot of kills. That's the problem. Like, this position yeah. is not conducive to getting a lot of kills, and that's fine. I mean, it's a fine position for him to play, and the play is fine, but, yeah, the kills, the kill potential from that compound are, are very low. Very, yeah. very low. And, we, and that's what we saw with that Sonics game. Yeah, too. I mean, they, there's they, not a lot they can do about it. <laughs> they, did, they did get that win, but it, uh, it came at the cost of uh, just uh, sacrificing any ma maximum amount of kill points you could really hope for here. As we see Wildcard now crashing in to the same apps building with T8. Uh, actually, just bringing back their split together, it seems, as Zenny. Now all by himself, just throwing out those grenades. The Molotov going to come oh. through. He's burning. He's, he's done. He's, he's dead. done. There yep. you go. Clean stuff from Wildcard, as that's going to be another kill point in their bag as they're continuing their quest to try to catch up with Fiumba. Fiumba only got a two. So. Yeah, Fiumba is, is on a struggle bus right now with only two members up, and, and even this rotation is really rough. I mean, this is not the ideal situation at all for them. It's not the ideal rotation at all for them. But they're still alive. They're trying to skirt down on the south side. The problem is they're also going to run into United if they continue on this pace. Oh, well, sure. Are. Yeah, they, they managed to make it through the gatekeeping of Spicy Fish, at least for now. And now they are just behind a United who's kicking shots from Dodge up on that hillside. They'll take a little bit of blue damage for their trouble as well. Uh, but it looks like they should be OK. Looks like Fiuma actually going to cut it in and go for the dip. Dip on the uh, road. Which, yep. Yeah, that dip not really in, though. So there, I mean, there's a part of it that is, and okay, I think they were just 
Yeah, they're, they're just stopping, stopping to get a sec. Yep. Exactly. Stopping down to, to get back into one vehicle here as the second vehicle maybe took a little bit too much damage. So back on the move once again, but unfortunately, Spicy Fish has arrived and they'll take a few shots in. Okay, it looks like they get out make just it in past. the nick of time. But where do you go? That's the issue. Where do you go from here? There's nothing open. <sighs> nothing great anyway. And they can't see anything, right? Like, this is obviously a blind rotation. I don't fault them for it. They, they nah. kind of had no choice. Yeah, nothing scouted, nothing, uh, they're just looking uh, to see where, gone, where can they go that they're not getting shot at, and, oh, uh, they're gonna hope that this is open, but it is not, and now they are trapped in here, they're fully committed, mine will get one, mine will get two. Easy. Easy peasy, and he does go down to sparking, but not before he takes care of them. So good work from Mime there. Sonic's picking up four kills now as Tokyo Manji Gang making the crash into just too easy. And looking at the leaderboard, I mean, with Fuba going out, that opens the door for Wildcard. They're now only five points behind. Huge for Wildcard and for Dodge. Yes. As, uh, as they can try to make moves here. Zealot on the outside. Oh, he read him like a book. That was that was. He beautiful. knew he was going to go for that peak. Four kills now for Zealot. As we see Tokyo Manji Gang trying to make a name for themselves here in the final game. I think they've made a name for themselves they've, here. Yes. This entire tournament, really. Even if they end in 11th, I feel like the way they've picked themselves. If they didn't have such a poor first week. I'm pretty sure they would be much higher. Like they, they would actually have been contesting for seventh, sixth, fifth, maybe even right. I, I and Zealot, particularly, we've seen him playing for a while now. But for whatever reason, this event, this has probably been one of his best showings, and he's looked damn good. He has indeed. The uh, the infusion of young talent here uh, has been doing wonders for Zealot. Yeah, him and Colton have, uh, I've said it before, Wadez and, and Halo have been great, but him and Colton specifically have been working so well together as a duo in this squad. You're look, hold... I mean, the last two right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they'll have to, uh, have to hold down the outside right now from Troglodytus as, okay, Zealot gonna take shots from range, gets back in. As it uh, looks like Young King's actually finding poonage from Yaho, so. They'll lose one as Yaho did leave that building that they were in and instead opt to play the shack, the little shed just off to the side of apartments as Zealot will be the last one up here. We'll trade it down. Nicely done. And Tokyo okay, Manji Gang. Yeah, he's not going to be able to get Colton. Unfortunately, Colton on uh, probably the most recent of several knocks, it seemed like there is Zealot just going to try to survive the blue here. He's got a Doxia. Yeah, he should be able to survive, and he has that vehicle, but again, like, he doesn't really have anywhere to go. He'll probably run into Moody at some point, who's also rotating on the northeast side of the circle. It's not it's not great. This is another one of those circles where most of it is just open terrain that is not playable. Yeah, uh, we saw Moody kind of wrapping up on that north side, but it looked like he was... Uh, Spicy Fish was coming down to the south on the eastern side of the circle. They run into Dodge. They're going to lose simply Matthias. And now you see Yaho, they're trying to stay alive here, Sparking and Shinboy, the last two up, seven kills for Yaho. As they make their way up the side of Potato, they've got Wild Card off in the distance, looks like Sparking's keeping his eyes on them while Shinboy tries to go for a little bit of a higher angle. It's a hell of a shift for Sonics. And SCG, but SCG more so in a... A top side position. Actually, the SCG could ruin this for United, essentially, with SG as well. That's two teams fighting United currently. Ooh, United now down to two. Rello and Kickstar the only two up as they'll turn their attention back. Looks like you spot out Danny. A few shots come in. Will land, won't get the knock. As we see, Zealot has now been spotted out by Pat Caps in the picture in picture. And Zealot oh. going to win that 1v1. I'm telling Pat you, kids. Caps goes down. Dude's having a hell of an event, man. He is really looking good this event he sure is and oh it's gonna be tiggleton that actually gets him tiggleton getting traded though as a uh, hikerman managed to get that knock should be able to be rezzed here by sonics but you can see dodge kind of looking in that dire general direction united trying to take care of what's left here of scg vox down to next to no hp another point picked up for rello he's just loses sight of vox as vox is lying prone on the other side of that oh, oh what the a grenade, grenade from Vox, and that is gonna do it for E United. They are out, but should have a pretty secure hold on first place here, but Sonic's still four up. I don't know if there's enough kills left on the board, though, for them to they're catch 20, them at this point. They, yeah, they're 28 points behind at this, at this stage. 
Uh, there's there's a few and they, there's they might be able to but they there's they basically they need to kill go, yeah they have to kill yeah. pretty much everybody <laughs> the entire lobby uh, they they gotta go super saiyan here in the in the last few minutes here of game number five as so uh, sparking manages to make it to the shed so with the point deficit they have now what there's four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen there, there's, mean, enough. I, I, there's, there's enough there's there's enough but they, they, they need to kill literally everybody. <laughs> I'm not going to be the own oh, Will. Well, Sparking's going to, unfortunately, Molotov himself. Basically, Molotov himself and take himself <laughs> out. He's like, nah, I'm not going to let Sonic win. That was the Look at Wildcard, and they're down to just Greg Shot. He's one point behind, and he's going to get spotted out by Ikos. Fuba holds fifth, at least for now. Dodge with three up. The possibility is still there for them. And Dodge is in a decent spot, all things considered. Actually, in a, in a pretty good spot, I'd say. They sure so, are. Young Kings. Dodge with the ability. Four up. They hold on to their fourth place spot as. Dodge, Dodge could actually easily jump up to fifth place. They easily could. jump up to fifth place. They could. They, they've got a problem to deal with right now in the form of synergy on that south side. That's it. That's with Sonic's keeping an eye on their north side. Here's Danny going to go down. Ethan will spot him out first. Finna bringing up the rear in the vehicle. As you can see the blue starting to push in, it's about to lock down as Ethan will collect another point for Dodge. The rest of Synergy looks like they're just holding the compound and they're about to get pinched here between Young Kings and Dodge if Dodge decides to continue this push. Meanwhile, Spicy Fish on the other side of the road from uh, Sonic's. They have to figure out how they're going to try to come over here. Yeah, I don't know. There's only 13 others in the in this lobby aside from Sonic's, which unfortunately at this point I think is not enough. Nope. It is, is not Dunzo. enough. But you know what? They could still finish this thing out with a win. I was going to say, even if they do, they could pull it very close. Very, very close. Which sends really? a, it, Yeah. And if they do, they, they will tie the uh, total amount of wins that they got in PCS6, which was seven. So uh, seven wins in back-to-back -back tournaments, that is that Impressive, is to say the least, yeah. <laughs> Very impressive. Uh, I mean, they have five kills now as well. They, they've definitely been, been working this game. Obviously, they got crashed. But, yeah, at this point, I, I just don't think there's enough, there's enough players on the, on the field for them to, to get the points they need. Not enough food left on the table. And uh, they really can't do anything other than focus on Spicy Fish right here. They'll get Booty right off the bat. Pack Caps gets through. Looks like Wynn will get him. Okay, Tiggleton will be the one to get them. Meanwhile, Icy Flex still on the other side of the road here. Tiggleton finishing his plate here, making sure. Oh, no, Moody gets stolen away by Andy. So that's one point that gets taken out of the mouths of those hungry, hungry Sonics as Dodge now continuing their push here on to see uh, Synergy. Yep. I'm, I'm really focused on this fight because they, they, if they win this fight, Dodge, again, they can jump all the way up to fifth. If they can just get some points here, get a decent top three finish. I mean, they're going to pass the two teams, which is That'd big. Huge. It's, it's very big. Two, two, jumping up two spots up here at this point of the leaderboard is... Yeah. Uh, is huge, huge points. Uh, Sonic's not money. trying to push out as well. And yeah, Sonic's, true, of course. Ooh. There's money to be made as well. Let's not forget can't, about that. Can't forget about the money. As uh, And one does get taken down as Sonic's starting to flex out, be the aggressors here. But Dodge, as you saw, there's six points away, seven points away from taking over that fifth place spot. But uh, as you mentioned, Sonic's, they could get up here at any point and that could be bad and that's news. what they're doing right now yep they're already pushing up eight kills two apiece very even for the squad and they're now looking at young king's rds i believe that should be a fairly easy knock as they continue to push forward dodge just needs to try to stay alive and and avoid getting kind of caught up in this fight between sonic's pushing up and i think they will for the most part they're on the further side of it they're on the south still trying to make that push towards sg yeah, they might take Young Kings by surprise here. You see Young Kings has that smoke wall laid down and they're focused on Synergy, focused on throwing the utility inside that building. But Synergy, they are dug in there like a tick, man. They are not getting hit by anything yep. as the smoke just keeps recycling. Gats taking a look, see through that window to see if he can spot out anything. We'll lead in with the flashbang first. Get some done, but Psycho gonna spot out Finna. So now Young Kings aware that Dodge is there. 
as Gats and Ethan. Ethan will find one. Finna will find. Oh, he goes down to himself. Okay, he had a grenade prepped. Yep. We'll go down to it. Is Ethan? Oh Ethan, no! Don't the you die in here. Oh my! So many mollies. Ethan goes down. Gats still alive somehow, some way. As Sonics cleans up everything on that backside. They need four points, Poro. They just need four points. Sonic's not. I don't think Sonic's is gonna give it to him. No, nope, yep, they done. don't get it. Mime cleans it up. Dodge the heroic effort there at the end, but they will go down in seventh place. Sonic's with ten kills, standing to win their seventh game of this tournament. If they can clean out what's left of Young Kings, as they Which find I imagine one, should not be hard. Two, and there, there it is. is. Sonic's get your final win of ESL two. But in the end, the overall winner, the champion of ES2, ASL2 Phase 2 Masters will be E United. What a performance by both of those squads, yes. Godspeed. It was just back and forth the entire this, time. This was an incredible event to watch, not only because of the Sonics E United, but seeing Yahoo finally with, again, Bale finally slot into that roster, fully come in and just do an incredible amount of work. Obviously watching Dodge and Finna and his kind of glow up this event for me has been wonderful to see that. And then Young Kings, man, Young Kings, Fuba. There's been so many great stories from this event. And I am so happy <laughs> that we have yet another <laughs> year of awesome PUBG esports, man. This has been a, this has been a banger. It's been an it's, absolute it's, banger. It's been a lot of fun to watch for sure, and it's also been fun to watch uh, Sonics get their seventh win again, tying yeah. their PCS seven record or PCS six record rather, uh, and they they hold on to second place. E United though again th three time ESL champions now. It's impressive, as, man. Uh, you can't you can't say enough about the game that those guys put together over these two weeks. It's been uh, just a sight to behold. Yep, United is fantastic. They absolutely earned this victory. They were able to come back off of some some bad games early, and, and that's exactly what we expect from that squad. And so congratulations, massive congratulations to United. Three in a row. Man, that's, that's nothing short of amazing, guys. We, we've seen it all throughout 2022. We have got two... Uh, securely, it seems like two North American Titans yes. in E United and Sonics that are just going to be trading blows back and forth. And uh, this time around, it's going to be E United that gets the win. But who will it be for PCS7? Who knows? We got that coming up. But we are done. And thank you so much for letting us cast uh, on the on behalf of myself, Porosaurus, and Godspeed. We are uh, going to throw over to our analyst desk to wrap up this entire tournament. Hey, hey. No matter which side of the fandom that you're on with each other, sorry about that, <laughs> cough beforehand. That is on me, not on them. Uh, uh, I just gotta say, uh, hell yeah, we've got two teams that are competing hardcore against each other. And while ESL does seem to favor E United, we do, do have PCS, which has been the Sonics position that they like to hold down camp. Uh, 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 uh. uh Remember who won the last uh, PCS? It's not, it's, oh. listen, listen, this, is, this one's gonna be a good one. Like, but first, but first, we do want to celebrate E United taking home uh, another victory for themselves. A good performance across the board. They started off strong with, what, 74 points off of the first day. And they might have slipped a little bit, but they never fell. They never stumbled. They always got back up and sprinted straight ahead. Well, you know what time it is? I'm checking my watch here. Do you guys what know we got? what time it is? It's time for Highlights! Thank you so much, Toffees. Let's voice. get it underway. Oh, I miss him. Toffees is on vacation this week, but yeah, all right. Fiumba, Sonics, this fight early off. Sonics with a beautiful end game, but you gotta give credit to Fiumba for still trying, right? They're, yeah. they're putting in these fights, they're looking for those kills, those opportunities. That Latam aggression that we've had throughout our America's kind of mashings has been something to behold. And I just am so, so proud, not only of Fiumba's performance today, of Young Kings, of just a, a lot of the different things that we've been seeing on the season. And obviously, uh, Sparking, you know, wonderful, wonderful to see him pop off today. Yeah, even if he did kind of go out in the opposite of a blaze of glory. Uh, but here at the end, everyone fighting over. This was all, it was all chaotic. At this point, everyone knew where they were more or less on the leaderboard, and then we could see Sonics off in the distance. And at the end, they were able to win with a pretty big kill count, all things considered. It just happens to be marred by the fact that they had such a gap to overcome. Man, if they had dropped United, hot dropped United in the very beginning, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> that, that wouldn't have made a difference. Still, but still, happen. 22 points, they at least made it close at the end. There is a massive moral victory to be had. And uh, yes. 
this is a benefit for everybody. Yes, we are starting to see the beginnings of a rivalry between EU United and Sonics, but today Phoenix. by 12 points, it's EU United that is going to take it and Sonics right back behind them. Yo, that's going to be in third, but overall, that means EU United is the ESL Ooh, champion for wings. the third time in a row. I love, you know, I'm, I'm, this is my dinner. I'm going to have a chicken dinner to celebrate the chicken dinners that United won throughout this entire event. I mean, we talk about the way that they have played through everything. I love this team. I, I've taken the oath. I have taken the E United of whatever. What do you guys like? Stand United. Well, stupid air. Yeah, we stand yeah. United with the United. There we go. Um, but I'm just so excited to see this team perform going forward as well, because this is just, I mean, there, there's no lull right now for this roster. Well, Clover, we've got them sitting and waiting, ready to go. So let's go ahead and move into our interview where we've got Relo and Kickstar. How's it going, guys? And look, roommates, I didn't know this. Pretty good, pretty when, good. I'm feeling good. When did this happen? Oh, guys. When did you guys move in with each other? Uh, during, during PNC, he moved in. Oh, I, so, okay, I, that might have been why I missed it. So much other stuff going on, but I guess it has to make the comms a lot easier to start off with. I got to say massive congratulations to you guys. I know it feels good. And specifically, I, I love the fact that you guys have been bringing some banter, been bringing some big energy inside of what's been going on around the PUBG scene. I, I, I got nothing to say at the start of this except for congratulations. I'm just going to toss it down to Clover. All right, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and just pull in the smack talk because I saw earlier Shrimzy said that you guys were gonna choke today. Obviously that didn't happen. Are you guys feeling some rivalry right now with the Sonics or any other teams? Is there one team specifically that stands out now in the Americas that you guys would say is, is your rivals? Uh, I mean, obviously Sonics are our rivals. They trash talk a lot, especially Tig. He's got those little, um, you know, little bit of riders. I'm not gonna say what they're riding, but they're riding something on Tig constantly. <laughs> and, um, yeah, I mean, obviously they are rivalries. <laughs> yeah. They have been our entire career, so it's just them. Yeah, I love it. Just them. All right. L okay, listen, how was this event for you guys to play, though? Were, was there anything that sort of caught you off guard that, I mean, it was such it was such a dominant win at the end. It feels weird to say this, but there, was there something that made it a little more difficult uh, than you expected? No, not really. I think this is actually no. our, um, our best tournament we've played as a team. We've been like a lot more consistent in this tournament and we've had like a good balance in our macro play style. So we've been like good positions to get points pretty much every game. Just want to follow up on that. Um, going to say that Kickstart, 12,361 damage, second to Snakers in damage. Relo, 51 kills, second to Snakers in kills. So <laughs> all in all, good performance coming out from you guys. Uh, I, I do want to say something though. Uh, you guys have got a masterclass and how you move in third and fourth circles. Uh, can you give some insights to the people that are watching on how you find and navigate these positions so well? We take good spots early game, try and control as much space as possible and have like a good fighting line into zone. And if we don't, and if there's a lot of people in front of us, like a lot of congestion, we try to make a big rotate to a safe spot in the middle of zone and just third party fights around us. Over, you gotta follow up. Yeah, I mean, all right, obviously now coming off the win, you guys have won three ESLs. Y'all have done phenomenal at PCS. What is your mindset going into PCS 7? Are y'all feeling confident that the PGC points are there and you don't need to really worry? Are you still looking for that domination uh, to just come in swinging for the end of the year? I think we're trying to do what we just did all over again. Yeah, I mean, we've already obviously called for PGC and so Sonics. I think even Yahoo are confirmed now. I don't think any of us uh, care about PGC anymore. We obviously called and we're excited for that, but uh, everybody wants to win PCS 7, so that'll obviously be the next goal. Does that take the pressure off going into PCS 7, do you think, that you don't even need to worry about PGC? Um, it does definitely take the pressure off about PGC, but I think we're all competitors at the top and we all want to win just as bad as we did before. Mm -hmm. Wait, so we looking sit. ahead. Oh, go ahead, Gap. Yeah. Yeah, just real quick, go, looking ahead into PGC, if that really is like the end goal here. I know we still have a little bit of time. We have a whole event between now and then, but is there anything that you're already preparing for looking ahead for PGC, or is that something that's gonna start to come up a little uh, more down the line? Just our um, our hot drops for PGC, like the teams that land like Minas and Milta Power. Other than that, no prep yet. 
Well, yeah, we've been looking at the hot drops. We have a, a great analyst. His name is Nomi. For those of you who don't know, he's uh, been going to PGC with this team or both for a while now, and um, he's just great. He's already started on that work. Well, yeah, great. Yeah. Unsung heroes, the analysts, because analysts and coaches, they have to do so much back-end work to get everything set up. Love to see them getting some love as well. So speaking of continuing the love out there, we're just gonna go ahead and give it over to you guys. What do you wanna say to your fans, family, whatever you want, the floor is yours. Uh, shout out to United, of course, they're a big one. Shout out to my family back home. Uh, shout out to the team. Snakers played really well. I think everyone on the team did really good, but Jake, top five in the tournament. Um, I think that's it for me. Yeah, same thing he said. Shout out to the teammates. Shout out to Trevor. Shout out to Nomi. Shout out to United. Obviously, all the fans that support us and not Sonics because they're terrible. Um, shout out to my family <laughs> and my girlfriend. Uh, yeah, thank you guys. I appreciate it. Tell Snakers to get on good behavior so that way maybe we can do an interview with, again with him. I don't remember. It's been, uh, it's been a hot minute, but thank you so much, guys. We're going to go ahead and move on and finish out the rest of the show. We've got get everything situated and prepared. That means we got some still house cleaning that we need to do. First up on that list is going to be looking at the PGC total points earned in this event, because that is going to be very important. You can see uh, United Sonics feeling pretty good at 725 and 680 between them. Yo-ho, feeling pretty comfy as well with 445. Uh, we can also do note Wildcard had a specific goal on trying to get in the top eight and manage to accomplish it. So with this, going to get 325, bing, bang, boom, back behind them at 235. Luminosity Gaming, who wasn't at this event, still holding down 210, and that's gonna be the 22 Esports at 175, but Young Kings at 125, Clover. Yeah, and now there's obviously the thing to know is the big shakeup, the things that we were kind of watching is what was going to happen with the LATAM region, Fiumba and Synergy, five points apart there in 10th and 12th, and they're not too far of a re leap, excuse me, away from 22 esports. Young King's also there at 125. Going forward, obviously the winner for PCS7 will get a guaranteed seed to PGC but second place will get 330 points, third will get 265, fourth 220. There is so many points still left on the board and that means that going forward to this last event, there is still so many close races for who can get those final seeds moving forward. You can see Sonics United, Yahoo, pretty much looking untouchable at this point, but for everybody else, um, you've gotta be working hard to get into PCS7. Top of this, we need to walk our way through our overall kill leaders, our damage leaders. But while we're doing that, Cam, I want to go ahead and give you a chance to just talk about some of the things that you saw inside of these games that you're looking forward to for the rest of the year. Y'all, even it are terrifying. I'll be honest right now. Oh, yeah. Like, so, come, oh God, since they introduced Flood to the roster, it's really been as far as like actual damage in the server flood and kickstart are the two people that you look for for being those star players or star carries stakers and riddler are obviously very good in their own right but you look towards those two first kickstart didn't have a good week one snakers and reload had amazing weeks one flood was also a little quiet week two snakers and like the fact that when one person has a little bit of a you know below average week that someone else is going to be there to step mm -hmm. up and we see snakers back onto an older form performance is amazing you saw him there on both of those lists it, like this is actually terrifying at this point uh, at this point e united are the north american team it was neck yeah. and neck with sonics mm -hmm. after they won pcs just because of how many pcs sonics has had themselves but at this point e united have passed them yeah Can and i want to follow that up say, too because uh, um i'm sorry Matt. Uh, kickstart six kills on day one and i think the rest of united had 13 and 14 apiece between the three of them uh just on day one and so for kickstart to have been able to recover uh, it just shows how terrifying you said you could have a bad day and still be at the top of the leaderboard on damage and kills the fact that we saw kickstart's name there and so uh really really excited to see them Oh yeah, I'm just curious on who's gonna end up losing more Twitter followers today, Cam or me with the, the very strong takes that we've managed to take so far. Uh, this is bringing us to the end of the show. So as we're looking through, I just wanna make sure that I let everybody know that remember, we do have PCS that's gonna be coming down the line. Yep. We also do have so many different things that we need to be looking at regarding that, be it PGC points and then PGC to follow up back behind that. PCS7 registrations are opened up right now. You've been sitting there in chat 
I know there's a whole bunch of you guys that are armchair warriors that say, hey, they need to do this, they need to do that. Come show us. I mean, what's the worst that happens? You're gonna level up your game, you're gonna meet some other people that care about the community the same way you do. It's worth it even if you don't manage to make it in the finals. So make sure, come in, sign up down below. But with all of this said, I just wanna make sure to give a shout out to everybody that's working inside of production, everybody yep. that played in this event because yep. we had tons of group stages. We're across two different continents. We had Godspeed that was doing ama an amazing job on casting with Borosaurus today. We have Toffees who helped us out so much coming into this and took a vacation, left me in this spot. So I apologize guys if the hosting's been a little bit rough. I'm trying, it's been rusty. So maybe that's why I had a mute here or there, but there are so many things that we're looking to for the rest of the year. Make sure you stay tuned in. And until then, see you on Destin, see you on the Battlegrounds.